Ding, 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 ding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not insulting. It's not that bad out there. Oh my Put god. Missed the space out of the notification. Go but it is message. easy to make amazing ag jokes and farmer jokes because basically what that area is known for. We're live with session 24 of Iron Gods. Woot. Welcome to our PGMP3. Yay. Come talk to us on Discord while we play or chat to us here on Twitch chat. Uh, you can also do other things and visit us on Twitter and Facebook and all of that noise. And it's good. Bill, stop turning your head. And um... <laughs> stay still. Bill, stop turning your head. Um, welcome. Uh, we're mid mid terrible gang dungeon, and we're going to see what's going to happen when they decide what they're going to do. So, does somebody want to do us a nice recap of the last session, perhaps? Uh, we went to the. We spent way too long talking about how we were going to walk up to a doorway, and then we did, and then we managed to get through the doorway. <laughs> right. And that, then that was, that was the whole session to itself. <laughs> right. We did the cart of the dead up to the doorway. We didn't bluff them. They shot at us with the laser. We broke the laser off. We went through the doorway. Yeah, we uh, don't know what we did wrong. We tried to announce ourselves. We stepped up on the platform. Kiernan got shot. Then he then he rushed the door, jumped up with a climb check to try to disable it, but it was still shooting. So yep. yeah. And then we faced a half ogre, ogre in the inside and killed him. We killed four smilers. Two actually, they're all females. Guns. All the bad people. Well, they make actually an ogre kin or a half ogre or something. Yeah. And Bill, Bill brought us nice cups, so I have nice cups. Cheers. We went up up through a barracksy area that didn't have anybody, found a secret door into an area with undead there was four smilers. drill arms and stuff. Yes, we killed the four smilers, two regular guns, two double barrel pistols. Uh, then we went through the secret door to this area with the rust risen, which appear to be zombies with machine parts attached to them. So they have chainsaw arms and things. Killed three of them. And now we've got two doors. One probably has the Dread Necromancer Marrow here, and one probably is where... <laughs> Did you say Dreadneck? The... <laughs> Dreadnecromancer. I thought he said Dreadneck. I'm like, Necromancer Redneck. I just like, a whole, whole different vision right there. The... That's fine. And we're here to rescue <laughs> Wiscafist, the uh, uh, Red Tooth Raider's leader's brother, who's been captured by the Smiler. And take out the Smilers while we're at it, because we're pretty much cleaning out their place as we do this. And then Hal ended up, I listened to the door, and I heard something, and then I can't remember what I heard. And that was where we stopped. Yeah, we came in through a room through via a secret door, so we kind of came in through a back way, killed some of those, like you said, the undead uh, uh, Operation Dr. Mangdalev kind of things. <laughs> Hopefully, but not, not super quietly, but... Uh, Time is of the essence now, so we're trying to move quick. It, uh, for those who haven't been following the uh, podcast, think of Smilers as a cross between Heath Ledger's Joker and uh, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You got a pretty good picture right there. Maybe you throw in a little bit of Hannibal Lecter and you're all set. You know? With pistols. With pistols, yes, pistols. You went all metal. You went all metally on me there. Was that everybody or just me? Uh-oh. I heard, heard a little bit of that, yeah. Okay, I guess it was. I don't know. Is that am I am I everybody went a little metallic for me for a second? That or Bill was eating again because he loves chips. Oh yeah, that's always possible. Bill's <laughs> eating again. Yet again. I don't do that. I put it I I totally mute Discord before taking a single one. Chewing See, on the tinfoil. <laughs> Tim, it's all his fault. Okay, Flesh so of what the was living behind the door was the sounds of movement. The sound of movement behind the door, directly behind. Which that's, door? That's the door you're that's at. What it has to heard behind that door. So um, in and on the other door, there was nothing but silence behind him. Well, movement sounds. Although the doors, the doors to the west are double doors, and the doors to the south is just a single iron bound. Sounds of movement does provoke, so might as well go through that door, right, Ikez? Do. Oh. I went tell Billick. I went tell Billick. Hey, I hear robots on the other side of the door. 
You can make me a bluff so check weird. and try to lie to your friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you told me you do not like that. I'm not going to do that. I thought I'm it was sorry that, he that that heavy breathing sounded like servos. So he's honest. The door and puts his ear against it. Does he have an ear? I suppose he does. This is where Alexander can cast uh, ventriloquism. He's a character. Or... He has a he has a listening thing on the jib. So are we going to get ready to burst the door? The trumpet. Have we checked all the doors? Oh, Have we checked did. everything in this room? Search this room. We searched yeah, like... the Well, then, yeah, let's do it. Um, all right, so we hear things whirring on the other side of the door. Have we used detect magic? Nope, I'm so... firing that up now, so I'll follow you guys in and, and look. Okay. All right. So the thing is, we, can we see if the door is locked? How do you see a door is locked, Tim? Okay, can I check to see if the door is locked? Try and open we it. Open yeah. We can ask Kieran in to check to make sure there's no traps on it, so I don't like. Not a lot kill. of people put traps inside their own houses because. It's crazy. Until people, you go into the bathroom. Uh, these guys totally would put traps in their own houses. They're frigging nuts. He's got the most hit points. Just let him go through the door. Okay, All right. open the door. <sighs> All right, I'll do perception before I go through <laughs> so, the door. So sanity check, did he add his hit points for fifth level? Because I, uh, I took mine off. Yeah. yeah. Did you add your... Yeah, I, I did, I did, I did. I need to change that. Take him down. Take him down. We'll, we'll add those for fifth level. So we level to fifth, but we're not going to do... Obviously I think I was at 38 or 39 hit points because Tatia healed me up before we ended. Oh, oh, what, you just, oh, not, oh, okay, what was your max? 41. Okay, so why are you 50-50 right now, you big cheater? Well, I'm sorry, you said level up, so I leveled up my character. Well, I just happened to heal in the process, that's a little bit crap, dude. Tonight we're on Shot of Ale. Sorry? Or an MMO where you get a level oh, in the middle nice. of the fight and all of a sudden you're healed, that doesn't Beer's that, beer's that on Discord thing. Oh, yeah. Your maximum is 50, either is it, it's 41. So we'll figure The maximum out. is 41. As soon as it is, it's fine. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what are you doing? Uh, I want to roll perception real quick, and then I'm going to, me and Billy Gup, we're going to go through the door. Are you perceiving? What? What are you looking for? I, I don't know. Uh, uh, he, was he was listening, but I thought you well, already were listening last time. Yeah, the only thing Hal told me, I heard feet shuffling. So that's your no, that's no, no, no. the information that you have. So are oh, you okay. open I was, rush I thought... in or Yeah, I guess so. Potential I mean... designated targets. Oh, I don't want to go to the fucking door. <laughs> All right, I'm going to how it can I am I able to ready an action when I open the door and there's like oh because opening the door is your action <laughs> like you're always thinking of like whack a mole right there's a dude right there I was like you know whack it you know what I mean that's not what you're saying you want to open the door and hit anything that's inside even if it's a small child like push it yes the oh, the oh if there's the a small door. child in this place they're really effed up. <laughs> no. Yeah, I want to open the door and as soon as I see something I want to smack at it. Because that is not. Even if it's a small child or a cute bunny, you're gonna yes. smack it. Yeah, don't care, don't care. Or, or a rat person that we're supposed to be rescuing. Or, or the rat person you're supposed to be rescuing. So the problem with doing stuff like that, setting stuff on automatic, is no one would actually do it. What do you mean? Yeah, I would. If I'm with a door, like someone's there. Well, you gonna... wouldn't. He's more psychopathic than you built the character originally, Hal, so. <laughs> Right? He's All supposed right. to be like sad and lonely, but and but, no but chaotic neutral. Hello. <laughs> yeah, but he's also like suicidal, lonely. Like, yeah, that sad. is suicidal, right? Like that's, I that's my John Alexander's and... oh, oh, liability oh, list. Holy God, psychotic. I'm saying opening the door and hitting what's ever behind it doesn't seem to be a logical thing to do because you don't know what's behind this door. Well. Um... What if I am very nervous and this place gives me the creeps? It's fine. You should be nervous. It's, there's bodies all over the place. Yeah, exactly. Like, this room probably smells like rotten corpses. Like, there's guts. It smells guts like your home. And there's probably, like, brain matter. Uh, there's some lungs. There's probably a heart laying around. Someone's liver is probably strung all the way across the ground. 
I'm just giving you that description. It's good. I mean, that's not, not wrong. I mean, there's, there, there are dissected people here. That's and we don't know weird. if, like, there's, like, a corner, like, there's a, like, a mound of corpses, like, the parts they just don't want, and, you know, it probably smells, like, horrendous in here. No part of this place that, the, and there's no part of a corpse they don't want. Uh, all right, so, yeah. Anybody else want to come up to the door? Because I'm going to open it, and me and Bill are going to run in there. If the you're motioning, fire. I'll, uh, I'll get I'll get over here. All right, open the door, Hal. Give us your worst. Not with the rest of the group with you. We're just on the other side of the room. Happy with them there. No, I'm like I'm holding my hands up. I'm like one, two. Like that signals of people. I'm about to open the door, right? I'm like I'm like with my big old hands. I'm like one. Just Two, two five, three. <laughs> three, my lord, three, my lord. <laughs> oh, I, I was trying to make a whole like descriptor of what's happening. You're ruining my RP experience, Hal. Oh, I'm sorry. I understand what you're saying, but I need initiative. So he's you doing mi- military time. tactics with a bunch of Keystone cops that are like clerics and wizards. And <laughs> is he trying to cast a spell? What's he doing with his hands? It's all fucked up, really. Remember to collect your token when you roll. Yep. Click on the token. <laughs> zombie. Uh, I think we might have found the right room. It's got a zombie in it. Most necromancers love to surround themselves with undead because undead don't turn on you unless you got a really powerful cleric. Mm-hmm. Well, and it's what? Only evil clerics can uh, actually command sure. undead? Only you can learn the spell command undead. True. It's I actually looked at one of those. The cast, though. <gasps> That's cheating, how You know, like, hide it. I'm, I'm trying to hide it. You're trying to hide what? Oh, the uh, initiative for Maro. It popped on my screen. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Everybody's rolling it. I'm not scared. You know what's in here. But she didn't show up on the actually, tracker. I don't. I, I thought it was in this other she room. Did. With a double oh, door. She, she did show up on the tracker. She shows up on the tracker for me. She's just on a different layer. So you can't uh, see. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm just saying it says it right here on my screen. I'm so not trying to see you or anything. Fast, so she's going to lightning bolt it's right through the door roll. and you. And, yeah. It's taken, oh, God, Bully Gup got a five. <laughs> you roll the one. Fuck. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Well, I always feel All right, is that everybody? Everyone rolled initiative. Oh, God, we so. suck. Yeah, well, <laughs> we have five. We're all like, like, like I, came to, I came to the door late as a, what the fuck y'all doing? And like, I, I beat you all in initiative. <laughs> well, yeah, you're a quick little fetchling. That's right. Which apparently is a derogatory term some people consider. It is, not. yes. I... Okay. Oh, yeah, because it's about stealing babies, right? And they're also were used to fetch things from the shadow plane for other people. Sad, slanderous lies. Slanderous lies. Slanderous lies. Let's try and get some stuff on the screen that people will want to see as we open up the new room. Okay, so... A small motion, you hear some step through the door. Uh, and now it's Kenan. What are you doing? I'm holding because uh, they were going to open the door and I'm waiting for that and to see what uh, they do. Holding your action? So you're going to jump into the initiative at a later point? Yes, because um, I thought that okay. the initiative was starting when they opened the door. And... It is. It is. That's fine. That's why we rolled it. Yep. Okay. Ikester, what are you doing? Open the door. <laughs> da, da, da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Fireball. Fireball. Well, or or lightning bolt, which puts you know the 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 straight back behind you, so fewer people. Door is open. Let me do a reveal. Hold on. Go in there, just totally like Jim Carrey, and just say, "I'm here, ladies." Yeah. Where are the mimosas at? Get out of there, you little cheater. Sneak into my rooms. <laughs> Monsters. Funny. This is how horror movies and pornos start. Let's not lie. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we're into the same out. thing. <laughs> Zombie Cheerleaders Part 9. 
When <laughs> pom poms go there, um poms. Hey, what is that website that you own, Hal? Which one? I know lots of websites. Oh, Bank. Temple Temple of Poon was Temple it? Of Temple of Spank. Spank. Temple, Temple of Spank. Temple of Spank. Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> For those it's of you who are caravan that, rocking, that, don't come knocking. Been on his website. Caravan. Unlimited subscription for just one dollar, and then all of us. <laughs> what's that called? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hold on. Inside the room and immediately behind the door. You Paper. see. Come on. Oh, let's see if this works. Uh, token the token layer. Work. It did not work. God damn you! Thing that isn't working. Suck. Hey. Speak nicely about things. We await you, GM. I await myself. Hang on, let me grab that again. Did you start, did you start Craig three quarter, by the way? I don't see that. Nah, no, it's fine. God damn, it's Craig. God damn it, Craig! Hey, I'm going to talk about it. Actually there are four rotten corpses shambling along behind Ooh. The They look like they're waiting for you. Oh, that's not good. Can Do you have Craig yet? Come, come play with us. Do what? That's your move action. What else are you going to do? What are they uh, swing at the first one that's in front of me. Intimidate him. Yeah, Dead people no, love that. It, <laughs> yeah, but my intimidation is really high, but it's not going to work on a creature. Actually, my intimidation... Actually, my intimidation is actually pretty high like right now at this level. Actually, it's actually kind of crazy. There are ways to actually be able to affect the undead with mind-affecting things. Yeah. Like intimidation. Like, it's, a, it's a long feet hole to climb down and requires magic. Your, your camera's really dark, Hal. Oh, it's because right. it's dark in there. Let me, let me put the light on. I don't want to, but let me... I need a front light that's bright. Mm -hmm. I have one. It's just not in here. Let me I, 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 I turned light. my light on to try to get some light too because it was. Ooh, I have a very attractive ring light that makes me look all beautiful. If you don't nice look good, cameras. we don't look good. So it. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I will swing at the corpse with my mighty axe. Get to the chopper! Honey bar. Ooh. <laughs> Stick around. Yeah. Okay, thank you for answering the question I asked 52 times. Horrors. Stick around! All right, yeah, I'm going to swing my axe at the uh, zombie right in front of me. This is good. And now up to the plate, 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 plate. I can't do, I can't do. Oh, shit! There's a crazy amount of death. The wait, 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 wait. But Where's there's the no hit, hit roll. Where's the Dude, y'all fuck Where's... up your macro, man. I didn't do anything, I swear. Uh huh. He did something to that macro because that apparently he all rolled a natural 20 somewhere in that. Um, yeah, on, on the crit damage. He rolled a one in that, and then he rolled some maxes on his damage, but there's no actual roll there. Come on, Tim. Uh, well, that's uh, regular damage and max damage, yeah, but no to hit. No to hit. Hang on. Plus Let's nine. Two, so That's two, how he improved his to hit by removing it. That's right. You just assume yeah. you hit now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Let me look. By Crom, we will win this fight. It, it was nice once <laughs> Crom was getting the really high levels, and I could at least guarantee the first hit was coming in. Ah! Everybody okay. drinks. Oh, I oh. didn't see. Oh, thanks for keeping this honest. For body drinks out of my nasty cup. Cheers. Kapla. Kapla. Oh. I mean, I don't remember Thank touching you, anything Agarin. on this thing. Agarin. You did something with misc numbers. Well, I did. Yes, you are right. I did something, but I don't. So you Sorry. are now. So you now are banished to doing the slash R rolling manually. Uh, you're Yach. just going to have to slash R it until I fix this for you. <laughs> This one. Okay. It does have a to hit. It does have one. Why are you? How are you doing? Plus, oh, you're doing power attack. Okay, very good. We apologize, oh. listeners, for the technical difficulties. We will. We're apologizing for Tim. Stand by for station identification. Oh. Me. 
Yeah, so it should have been a plus nine, but yeah. Works for me. Yep, but Tim. flat footed, right? Flat footed. Oh, down in one. Everyone downs their drink. Oh, Don't God. And that I, was should, I should not have I filled the mug. I just filled it. <laughs> God damn it. And you guys got mugs. Those are not regular cups either. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh, Viking flagons, too. So we're going to get a little uh, by the end of the night, I think. Uh, Tim. Tim. Down yes. One, Tim. He did. It's I did. Self- I just did it. His his, his uh, lime flavored seltzer oh, water. Oh right, it's okay. Well, that was a. So, do you want to roll this, Tim? See if it works. Six hundred fifty milliliters down. Yep. Oh, Ooh. I thought that was his roll. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought no, that, that, my... that That was me uh, rolling for him. Oh, That's sorry. I'm just. I want to see if it works. I don't know what the dysfunction was, but. 14 to oh, hit. A 14 will hit the zombie. Yeah, zombies oh, are pretty sweet. crap. 21, 21 damage, that's pretty respectable. That is pretty respectable. Uh, oh, yeah, that's no, it's D&D zombies that are better than uh, these zombies. These zombies kind of suck. That's hey, D&D yeah. 5e zombies are legit now, because... They're okay. They have that ability that makes them really hard to actually knock down once you get them to zero. Yeah, they, they, they do this con save and then they can just stay up. Like, no matter how many oh. times you hit them below zero. Yep. He collapses in front of you. Thatcher, it's you. No. Yeah. Star Knife of Desna, be with me. Next time, don't fill the entire mug. <laughs> yeah. Don't fill the mug. All See, right. that's what. Oh, I'm going to stay danger. here. As the creature fall as the creature falls down, I say a haiku. Okay. I've been waiting for all week. Really? But you, wanna wait, do you wanna wait for a better creature than a twelve hit point? Yeah, oh, okay, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> Anticlimatic. I know. I, I lost I have a bunch of haikus. I lost my now, now, now you set up the bar, it better be a good one. <laughs> I'm going to have to publish a book of these, Tim. I expect the. I can set you up a little thing on the website so you can start posting them up. <laughs> oh my gosh, a, that's what we need to do. We need to have a part of the page that has like two. Patreon like, tier. <laughs> is right. he going to take a level dip into Bard or something here? Maybe. Uh, oh, hey, what, what level is researching Staff of Resurrection, Alexander? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. uh, it's, so, Tatia, oh, you were in the middle here. of your. Turn, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, kind of. Then there you was can the go through. There was a potential haiku coming, so I gave it a break. But yes, yeah, so I scoot up. Uh, and you can go then... through friendly squares. You could get someone, you or the tiger, here. I think. But then your door is basically blocked. At yeah. Yeah. I, I wanted to give everybody space to move, so I was going to use this turn to move up here, and then I was going to cast Hedging Weapons. Ooh. Hedging Weapons? Tell us more. What's Hedging Weapons? Hedging that? Weapons! Uh, a weapon made from Divine Force appears and floats near you. You gain one additional weapon at 6th level, blah, blah, blah. This weapon takes the shape of your deity's favored weapon. If you have no deity, blah, blah, blah. The weapon averts and deflects attacks, granting you a plus one deflection bonus to AC for each weapon summoned. So I would have one right now. As a standard action, you can grasp a weapon and throw it as a ranged attack at any target. So if I want to, I can also grab it and be like, that's pretty nice. Nice. So So is that like a spiritual weapon where it can attack on its own or? I think she has to throw it. I do need to grab it and throw oh. it, but it'll deflect on its own. So it it adds a deflection bonus. So if things are getting thrown at it, it's like ping, ping. Nice. So. Well, basically, they float around her and deflect, and then she can just grab them out of the air and throw them, Sweet. which is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And it lasts, lasts for a minute per level. But Shit. once she throws it, it's it's Sweet. you use that weapon, right? Because. Yeah, so you have a limited number of weapons based on your level, and then once you throw it, the weapon is gone. You've expended the spell. Oh. But if you had more more things flying around you, you'd have a higher AC and more things to throw. Exactly. Oh, this was an 8-5 beer. Oops. Nice. We're going to see you go, (laughs) did Aaron make you down at 8.5% beer? 
Maybe, yeah. yeah. My, mine's 8-8, eight, eight, I think. Yeah, I got a light one today. Well, this, this, yeah, it's not one of my 12s or 9s, you know. This is my Thursday group taking taking Thing down because he came in and just was just like, drink, 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 drink. <laughs> well, oh, and I dropped a random man. encounter. You're such a poop. That leveled them. It was a good, it was a good thing. I helped them level. Yeah, I have a now are you counter in. Are you playing thing or this is Hexad of Hyperus? No, I'm not playing. I'm just oh, I'm, I'm just kidding. And I I I never have to do the drink redemptions on ours because Anita takes care of all that, so <laughs> Yes. Plus I so drink without you know she's she's talk. a lot more she's a lot more uh you know uh, you know power girl bitchy now that she switches to truly instead of the the right. apple scotch that she was uh, downing before. Now she's having us all drink like multiple times now that it's true. I almost, I almost drizzled her whiskey today, but. <laughs> that would have been Oh my God. Do you know what's funny is that after you sent me that message, mm. our doorbell rang randomly twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my sister got a package we didn't know about, and the other one was our neighbor coming by to tell us something about our lawn. So, or my mom's lawn, not my lawn, because I don't live here. I'm just borrowing a room because I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're in between you're in between houses while everyone moves. So, yeah. I'm gotcha. in between jobs. I'm in between. So attack. You're in the, still in the middle of your turn. He's moved and cast a spell. There is a star knife glowing nearby and spinning about. I think she could she attack as part of her uh, cast oh, action. Oh, no, the standard action is is casting the spell. So, so haven't I taken both of my my actions? I moved and I cast a spell, so my turn's over, and Nicodemus isn't doing anything. Okay, and that's just standing there for whatever comes through. Alexander, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh... Um, I, I am going to move up to where I can be somewhat effective, but they're crowded. I'm going to move around back here by an line to cast through the Really? That's far away, and it's a single, like, less than five foot door. Okay, and I will so yeah, move. Yeah, just, 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 yeah, so, I will very, move up here near the people and <laughs> if you I, want I line up on the door I have no problem with that but it is very small and from there you can basically see none of the room right but I have to go around the table if I want to line up on the door so if I can come down here well, sure. and maybe okay. magic missile the one in the room true you could probably see him enough to magic missile him sure let's try that <laughs> Hang on, I think I can do it. Let's see if it works. Nice. Pew 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 for nine I'm, points of force. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm attacking the I'm attacking yeah. the darkness. He, he kind of staggers a little to the side as you hit him. Um he is nine So let me know when I can go, because they're still they still haven't gone yet, and I want to go before they do. I'm losing oh god, this computer blows. <laughs> Actually, it blows you away. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Oh, 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 oh. So now, 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 Hal really goaded me to coming oh, down here because a fireball is going to pop through the door and he needs that area right outside the door for me to be that. in. That would be so nice, but you know, it's not that cool. Everyone Nothing knows else? the verbal components this fireball, right? Stop, drop, and roll. Okay. Let's fully go. Well, when when do I get to go? I had sort of a held action, so you get to go when you tell me you want to go. I want to go before they move, so I, I can go now. You want to go before Bullygub? Before Bullygub. Okay. Let me so I'm going to basically move in five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I'm going to move here to hopefully flank with a Kestu and get this guy here. Do I shall stabby, stabby. What are you doing? You're walking past the zombies. Well, yes. they haven't moved yet, so they're flat-footed. Sure they are, because they didn't hear you coming. I well, they're, thought they're, they're flat-footed. 
they're pretty yeah. dim. They are very dim, but they were definitely ready for you coming. And no somewhere in this room is probably the necromancer that controls them. No one was surprised here. Okay, so I don't know how you want to handle that. Do you want me to stop here? Because I can't stop in a Kestu square. You can't. You, can, you can walk into that square. I mean, you can walk past them, but I don't, I don't even know if there's get a tax of opportunity. So I was going to try to go there. And um, I did I did get skill focus acrobatics to try to move past threatening squares, all that fun stuff. So I don't know how you want to rule it. I, I, I assumed, maybe incorrectly, but I assumed that they were flat-footed because they hadn't moved yet. No. No. They definitely moved while you were fucking around in that previous round. So um, how do you want to... How do you want... Where do you want me to stop? Uh, let's... Technically, the zombies in Pathfinder have the staggered special quality, which means mm -hmm. that they can either move or take a standard action each round. But... It doesn't say anything about affecting their attacks of opportunity, but I don't know whether staggered affects your stacks of opportunity. If that makes sense. Mm. Somebody look at the staggered condition. I am looking good. now. Conditions. Oh, put yourself back by the door just in case. Sure. I'm, I'm looking up the conditions, sorry. Uh, they may take a single move action or a standard action, mm -hmm. but not both, nor can they take full round actions. A staggered creature can still take free, swift, and immediate actions. No reaction, right, so it says, though. A creature with non-lethal damage exactly equal to its current hit points gains the staggered condition. Whatever. Okay. So if you're at zero, basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense, so, but that's not relevant here, but there's no reaction. So, so I guess the attacks of opportunity are reactions, right? Uh, I believe so. So, yes, you can move past them. They're just too slow. Cool. Salt. All right, so I get a single attack as my movement. Hey, drink. I paid for it. Oh, oh. critical with a 20 on the crit confirm. Oh. That's 19 damage with an Let's extra 10. Let's cheers to that, bitches. Come on. That, so 29 damage. I splay this motherfucker all over the place. <laughs> oh, I get a drink. <laughs> oh. Do I hear... Babies crying in the background? What? God, bring two, yeah. Bill. It sounds like a baby off in the distance crying. It does. Yeah, it's and the my parent radar is like, where the fuck is the baby? Somebody exactly. needs to Exactly. I'm kind of like, what's going on? Or shut the baby up. Maybe the baby is not ready for bedtime and we're all just like, fuck the baby. No, <laughs> don't fuck the baby. I don't mean it like baby. that. <laughs> kick, the kick the baby. No, <laughs> kick that baby. <laughs> How about like ah shut up baby? Okay, that zombie's that dead. Totally okay, thief. Yay! And we're gonna move past. There's a bed in here that <laughs> entered the necromancer's bedroom apparently. You did. Too bad I don't have that frightening strike like a Kezdu's got because that was a pretty epic, nasty splash there. That was twenty nine damage or something. Yeah, but that would just turn on a necromancer, not deter them. <laughs> <laughs> not a lie. Let's let's not lie. It's, That's it's true. Not lie. It's not There'd lie. be some rubbing of bits going on with that. So that's some stuff going like on. Like there isn't any ways. That's right. Computer is very slow. It's like anime. A single cut releases eight gallons of blood, regardless of the, <laughs> the size of the creature. <laughs> the human body has had several gallons of blood under high pressure at all times. Exactly. There is the noise of a uh, brief magical incantation and a necromancer type lady appears behind Bill. Oh, she's um, wiggly, not hobgoblin. Did, uh, did, did a good did Billy Gup go? How? Billy Gup didn't go. Oh, Billy Gup should have gone. Uh, he's just going to poke a thing. What's the yeah. light level in this room? What does the Touch text the say? The text says it is a, co it's a cozy bedroom. Kitty's being so a dildo! There's, there's a desk where she works which has enough light. Although she doesn't need light, I guess. I mean, I guess she's a hobgoblin, right? They have dark vision. But it's all good. Which gives there's you a black and white vision, but yeah. yeah. That's right. So she probably has light in here. There's candles and torches and stuff and sconces and what have you in here. Probably burning terrible human fats or whatever. Ooh, nice. 
I mean, I could so kind of make a baby torch. Uh, let's do Bullygup's attack on that goblin uh, zombie first. Bullygup's going to attack through the door, so is it a negative to do this? Where is he? Too, just in case Tim breaks. I guess, I guess sees this like. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have to <laughs> move. He's got reach. Like, I know. He's face. got this like, like, <laughs> like glare just goes through my arm, pokes on. It's thing. like this Indiana Jones trap that goes. <laughs> Probably not even <laughs> worth uh, doing his uh, enhancement on his slave, but. Calling it. A, a Ripperton man that. kneals. Kneels. <laughs> that's a 24 hit from Bully Gup, so that's down, down to like a 20 because of the door jam, and a 12 slashing damage, which is with the zombies negative on slashing damage, sufficient to kill the zombie. I did it freaky. Like Arrow appears just behind Bill and just push, the, casts her hands forward. Cool. You are almost flanked. Right? Wouldn't that have been good? These zombies are useless. Why they gave us zombies? I've but I'm wearing the yellow uh, glow stick around my neck for the rave party, so... <laughs> for our dreadlord. Oots, 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 oots. Oh, reflex save. Excellent. Uh, also you, Akestu. Oh, lightning bolt. Ouch. Ow. Uh, so I make a, a reflex save. 28. Oh god, I'm, I'm taking the damage. Out of the way. Uh, hold on, let me look for my reflex. Oh god. So do you have evasion cool. already, Kiernan? Oh yeah, that means zero damage. Yeah, he does have evasion, which is nice. 15 is what you needed, so you only take half. You take 10 damage from the lightning that strikes you. Minus 5, because I have electrical resistance. So 5 damage. Yes. Oh, oh, you have electrical resistance too. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. I can fire lightning bolts through both of you then. <laughs> oh, no, please. Oh, it's right. like it's like Jarvis. It's like, sir, reactor is at four hundred percent. Oh, he's like, oh, really? Cool. And he goes, <laughs> and right. she steps to the end of the bed. The back's against the wall. Ah, attack of opportunity. For a five foot step, you don't. Nah, she's attacked. She casts a spell. She can't five foot step. Can't five foot step. You can do after your attack. Yeah. Oh, after the attack though. She didn't. Yeah, she didn't move. Oh, she just appeared oh, oh. because her invisibility spell went off when she cast the spell. All right then, that's true. Can I? Oh, yo, Hal she got the sticker on the bottom of his mouth. Hmm. Hal, is she invisible right now? No. Can, can you see her, Tim? No, well, I'm sorry, I missed oh, because you're. I got this. Got this. Hold on. You're s so not to be All a right. dick, but didn't we get minuses to our saves because she was invisible? What? No, it's the same get... spell. Okay, I thought we had a minus to save because... No, no, it's just okay. a save versus spell, so no, we don't. If she'd have targeted you, then yeah, she'd have got, she'd have got bonuses to hit you. All right, Hal, I'm going to go right there, and I'm going to attack Maro. Drive it. I'm not going to go right there. This is a podcast for some people. Go in Sorry. right there. I, mean... I am going to enter the room. I am going to go 15 feet at a diagonal direction to her, and I am okay. going to use okay. yeah. <laughs> attack of opportunity against the zombie. I guess they didn't get attacks of opportunity. But yes, I am going to move next to Morrow, and I'm going to swing my large oh, no. great axe on Morrow. Twenty-five for twenty-six damage. Ooh. Your great axe kind of skitters around something that's around her and kind of smacks into the ground. Oh. Uh -oh. Her shield spell is strong. Uh, shield or blur? We'll see. Blur. She's not blurry. Literally, there's something around her that his his weapon hit and slid around. Mage armor or shield, yeah. It's or a both. shield. Oh, I can't see it, but it's a, it is a shield. So. Um, so crap. Can't see it. She could okay, have I'll good look. information if we want to take her, you know, alive. I'm not dead. Yeah. True, she could. Alexander, it's you. Oh crap! I have the possibility of moving into blindness. Yeah, but that 
Uh, that's a don't do that, save. Alexander, or you'll go blind. <laughs> I've heard that before. Okay. <laughs> heard that before. Uh, I will move up here, and what the hell? We will try blindness on Maru because she will probably pass oh, her. Oh, dude, save. I wasn't telling you to do that. I was just, <laughs> I was just I being a jackass. I was like, I know, but if I actually know she has shield, it's magic missiles out of the. Well, you need? You don't because you didn't see the shield, but that's okay. Okay. Fair. I'll let, you, I'll let you off. But I would kind of like to take her alive because she probably has good information on the Lords of Rest since they're the. Second 20, level 24, up. I will save. Well, that will probably beat my 17, so screw that. Click off that spell. <laughs> That's uh, sick. Right. That's good. And I, yeah, okay. I guess I stopped there in the doorway, unless I need to move five foot. Can I? Can pass you. Hmm? Okay. Unless you, no. Tatcha, it's you. All right, so then... And the eye of the tiger, the thrill of the fight. I was thinking, <laughs> so, so far this adventure I don't think has put the protagonist kind of gang guys in good places to monopolize on their talents. I agree, because uh, the so, boy, Birdfoot it was a, like it was a like ranged a guy. And he had no room to run or get out of the way. And this is like a, a caster in a dead-end room. It's, yeah. it's terrible. You don't want to catch no. casters. Or casters don't want to be caught in their bedrooms. Oh, it's terrible. Can I go right Ringo. here? You can. Uh, well, okay. So if I move there, then is it uh, one, two, three, four, twenty feet? The what? What are you measuring to? It's under the thirty feet, right? It is. Uh, the, movement. Yeah. Yeah, the movement would be. Okay. So then I'm gonna go here. And I... So you're going to step into the room, into the corner there, right? Yeah. Sorry, I'm being pedantic. Kill the zombie? Yeah. Yes, kill the zombie. You're going to kill the zombie or you're going to go do something else? Um, what about that thing that's hanging up above my head? I'm able to grab that still, correct? Correct. Is it still there? Okay, I want to use that on the zombie. So this is a thrown weapon, so if you use it on the zombie, you're going to be a negative to use it because it's ranged. It is a thrown and... weapon? Yeah, I, 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 well, yeah, I could use it as a melee. That's not my understanding of what you read. So read the spell, see what it says. Cause, you if know, you throw it, it, it's a thrown weapon. Yeah, because you don't want to move close to them and then throw, because then that's range and they get like... You could you just know. stab them with your normal star knife. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's exactly why I was like, no, maybe not. Okay. Still a good spell though. Have an extra star knife is always nice. And protection while it lasts. Yeah, ranged yeah. options on HP is nice. Exactly. Especially at higher levels. It just says Oh, it never mind. It is thrown. Sorry. Each weapon thrown. Okay, so it does have to be thrown. So I don't want to do that. We'll leave it up. It'll still be AC. So if So if you were a follow out. if you were a follower of Gorum and had two handed sword, you'd throw a two handed sword? I mean yep. Oh wow! Shit. So. <laughs> That's badass just, right there. So the damage, right? So we need a god whose weapons are nuclear bombs. <laughs> yeah. right? Grotus. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what you doing? Okay. Oh, I am going to swing with my star knife, but melee because yeah. Swing for the fence. 14 will hit and a 9 piercing is full damage on a zombie so he stabs him and he works a little less well than he did a minute ago cool is the tiger doing anything tiger will come in Mine's frozen. Sorry. If he can go, Black. if he can go here, that would be. Well, he can't strategize too much, I guess. No. I mean, you can. You can tell him to attack whatever. He attacks. So if you tell me thing. where to tell him to go, he will go where I tell him to go within his <sighs> ring. Um, one, two, three. If he goes mm -hmm. here, if he goes here. I can hop up over here. Okay. Cool. And flank. And that should be six. So that would be thirty. Um, you, can move, you can move 40, so you're okay. And then, what? 
yeah. moves full. He moves. He moves a lot faster than we do. Two. Yeah, he moves forty. Quadrupeds well, rock that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kiernan has three legs. Does that boost his movement? Ho, ho, ho. Donkey tripods. <laughs> and I, I, Kez, do's how many feet? What's his yeah, shoe we'll size? Have... I do have an extra because I do have a tail. Yes. Go in for a big O bite. Team might hit. That might. I really need to think my game night is better. 14 is a total miss. <laughs> no! I mean, against, against the Necromancer. Oh, that's true. It's against the Necromancer. Mm. God damn oh, BBEGs, which, for those on the podcast, is Big Bad Evil Guy. But this is Big Bad Evil Girl, so. She is a Big Bad Evil Girl. We're, we're totally, like, you know, gender neutral here in RPGMP3.com. They... We assume she self-identifies as a girl. Hobgoblins are, their lives matter too, but not necromancers. They they should be killed. Well, and she's a smiler. That's like Bad double. Fuck lives. that guy. That's right. That are non-lives. Well, necromancers can be people. Kiernan, I still need three. I still, I still, I still need three more. Very quick. I still need three more smiler faces for my wicked coat. And on its you. All right, I'm going here. Almost disappointed with these. And trying to do backstab flank. Remember, you have the debuffs. Oh, poop, I miss probably. You miss. On a 12, you miss. Even a 14 on flank is a miss. Yes. If I might and, what about a, spell, six, a, 16, a 16? Yeah. A 16 misses, right? Oh, yeah. A, okay, Tim missed on a 25. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. She's All right, rough then. to shit, dude. All righty then. You done? I am done. Yes. Yeah. Pulling up. Pulling up. Uh, pulling up steps into the room. He realizes he's too close. He realizes zombies suck and steps. Ten feet away from. The I am taking a move at. I am taking a uh, action to pull something from my belt. How are you doing that? What's a move? I next round I'm going to pickpocket her and slip in a uh, uh, one of those uh, thump non-lethal grenades. <laughs> so you're foot pocketing, not pickpocketing. I'm and pickpocketing placing, not pickpocketing taking. Foot pocketing. Yeah. Oh look, I have this ring in my hand. Where'd this come from? Flames. Eventually, what? computer. Polygup gets a 20, doing 13 nice. slashing. Slashing is reduced for zombies, but this zombie is injured and is cut in twain by oh, a wonderful frog it, of death. Twain, not like in Quint frog. Quintain, death which frog. is what. Death frog. Death frog. Put it's pocketing. Not, it's not don't, easy don't being green. Don't encourage them to put pocket grenades, okay? I'm not pickpocketing. <laughs> I'm not taking. I'm giving. No. It's all put about giving, not stone. receiving, Hal. I'm trying to get into the Christmas spirit. Put pocketing. <laughs> I'm putting in a. I'm putting in one of those non-lethal uh, thump grenades mm -hmm. into her pocket and then come back with only the ring of the pin on my hand. <laughs> Wait. Into her pocket? <laughs> intimately or... <laughs> Standardly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, adventurers. Hold on a second. You guys hear that beeping? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Maro, Maro grabs something around her neck. She glances around her. She realizes she's surrounded. Oh, bastard. Here we go. Let's channel some negative energy. Oh, crap. oh I thought she was grabbing a uh, bloody uh And she has no zombies to deal with it, so she's just killing us. Boom! Negative energy out. Uh, and let's switch. Everybody, it's everybody. Yeah, we're in, so, we're in the thirty foot. Yeah, looking at her aura and it's catching everyone. So everyone can make me a will save, please. DC is only thirteen. Save. That is something. Hopefully, I have your will save isn't good. Damn, yeah, twenty one. So you I take eight damage. Suck it, will at least. Uh, will twenty four. Oh, touches the bad. 
Roll for the cat. Bully Gup's oh, got a six. Oh, pain. Oh, uh, Bully Gup's... Bully Gup and Tatcher are down 16 points. Everybody else is down eight. Roll for the cat. Roll for the cat. Cat, cat, damn it! Damn. Nah, I'm Kitty Spangle Daredow! Oh, the cat is good. It only takes eight damage. Oh, okay. That has eight damage, you said? Everyone, no. The cat takes eight, you take 16. Everybody else takes eight. Ouch. Eight. Hello! Look, everybody else is joining to make you drink, non-drinking people. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. They, they, they should join in the revelry and be forced to drink, too. Has everybody taken the, the kitty? Is not yes, drinky. Oh, uh -oh. I I think Tatia is having an animal companion has to have a side of milk. She has to have like a little thing of milk and drink mm. for the kitty too. Right. You have to have drink. You have to have chocolate milk. Oh, sir. There you go. I love it. Okay, so the kitty has dropped its hit points. Yes, yes. Akez too has dropped his hit points. Oh, I gotta drink. Everybody's down. Okay. Marrow just kind of starts to cackle to herself. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of hit points coming into this fight, y'all, so... <laughs> uh, uh, it has to, it's you. I'm thinking about trying to intimidate her, but I'm not sure if that's going to do anything. Uh, she's got sick will, right? Because she's like a cleric she or a, a magic user. She's a, she's a cat Yeah. Well, intimidating, which is counterintuitive, really, because you think physically intimidating... The mealy little spellcaster would kind of make sense, but they're the ones that are going to be most with the most mental fortitude that are going to be able to resist that. He also, right? he also knows like physics. He can't really re work his leverage there. I can do this. Oh, I know the pain of the netherworld. You will not be able to inflict harm upon me. Oh, I was going to read a haiku to her, and <laughs> Dude, that would cause a lot of pain. They should have minuses that are save if they're actually of lawful. Because the chaotic nature of this haiku, they're be like, the fuck? Oh, hit him! <laughs> I, I would love to take her alive for information, but yeah, we need to take her down. Well, there's li there's the rules for doing non-lethal damage with... Uh... Yeah, it's minus four to hit. No, oh, I'm, I'm not doing that. So you don't think like do intimidating her is not going to do anything? You can try it's if it's a free action, especially. But you know. no, I don't get free no. actions. Not, that's not until it next level. It would be level. his whole action if he wanted to yeah. do that. That would demoralize her, no. but that's really not that great. Actually, no. If I meet the DC by so much, she gets she gets frightened. Actually, right. But D hit D hit pointer. You look like the kind of person who deals with frightened. I, I'm just telling you what I can do. If I can, because I'm a specialize in in intimidating. If I beat but the DC by five, she's frightened for a turn. She she's a nightmare herself. I think you just need to de hit pointer. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to hit her again because I didn't hit her last time. Come on, you got this. All right, I roll will. Better. <laughs> if I roll pretty good. <laughs> All right, I, I am going nothing. to uh, I'm gonna power attack her again, and probably yeah. miss. 20. Miss. That's good damage, though, Tim. It would again hit the the orb that's surrounding her. Fucking Christ! I'm getting out of this room next turn. Dude, you are... That's your job. You are the tank. If you leave the room, the rest of us die, literally. Your job is to keep put right there. I'm hitting, but it's not working. I don't know what else... No, what you're, else you're, 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 you're beating on something. What... WWCD, what would Conan do? He would pray to Crom, <laughs> make this hit. Come on. I wrote a 25 last time. I wrote a 20 this the, time. It still hasn't the, done anything. You see the glowing Valkyrie right in front of you, right? <laughs> Alexander, it's you. Okay. Uh, this is probably stupid, but I <laughs> think. Back with the dagger. No, I've been carrying around the laser. Rifle from the front door. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to try that. Shoot her with the laser rifle. Yes, because that's a touch attack. <laughs> Rack it up <laughs> my green point. TK421, oh, TK oh, why aren't you at your post? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe it's a heavy range attack roll. Uh, oh, oh, God. I'm going to need more booze, probably. Um, and I, oh, crap. And I am going to do a, I'm going to activate my 
Nanite Surge, which I have not used previously. Oh, you got a glow. That yeah. sounds like that's like sounds like Borg. We will assimilate you, shit, right there. Describe Are you that. Proficient? I am not currently proficient, so I'm at minus four. Plus uh, for that, night surge. plus my night surge, which is nine, I believe. Wow, well, that's good. Because that's, that's um, five that's... plus my level. Wait, 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 wait! This isn't some sick hentai robot orgasm thing, right? Nanite <laughs> surge sounds kind no, of. No, so I've got these <laughs> uh, circuitry tattoos that go across me that are in green, okay. basically. As long and as the they... as long as the verbal they... components are are. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah. Okay. They briefly glow like a torch. <laughs> uh, and so you glow me... afterwards? Really? It's okay. This yeah. is not giving me a warm and fuzzy. It's circuitry glows. It's circuitry glows. That's what he face. calls it? Okay. And it let is. me get back to my character. We don't want to call we don't want to call we don't want to call HR, pal. Let's let him do it. Wait. <laughs> Maybe it's challenging him. Let him be himself. It's okay. Listen, uh, listeners, right. email e email all complaints to rpg.com. So I guess 12 at a general plus four with, uh, after the might or no, even minus without, four. Even without, even without spells, her touch chasing is higher than that. Okay. That's a reasonable dexterity, ne actually. Just... Dang, Never mind dude. then. It was worth a oh, try. Also, you're at a minus for shooting at a combat, too, so you were never going to hit her. True. <laughs> But it was worth a try. You, you you need to set that shit on uh, James T. Kirk overload and just throw it in the room. You know, yeah. <laughs> a, a laser rifle bolt flies past the Kestu's head and hits the wall. Gotcha, Man, it's there's you. there's stormtroopers here. God damn it! Gotcha, it's you. What you doing? Oh my god! Charlie's in the trees. Uh... All the kid, all the all the the kitty gets all of his attacks. The kitty gets all of his attacks at plus two because he's flanking with me. True. Sure. Oh, how did you add the plus two when I attacked, or no? Oh, no, because you aren't flanking. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I was just asking. Sorry. Oh, whoops! I didn't mean to move you. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna put you back. <laughs> One, two, three. She's using the force to move people on the battlefield. Okay, she's no. Don't. I guess you couldn't do that diagonally. Not the way you did it. What? You can go to the corner. If, what? You can go to the corner. What? 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 Great. What you say there? <laughs> Mess around with her so she can't cast. Do something she can't cast. Moonbeam. Well, actually, moonbeam might suck. Not really blind her. Also, if she's doing Moonbeam, she needs to not be right next to her because it's a ranged attack. Yeah. Too. We got to do something so she can't cast. Yeah, but if she's but if she's pecking away at a shield, you know, the more damage she does, she's like a beefy if I, if, I, if I actually had my third level spells, I could. Uh, Is my hedging weapons spell magic her shield? Yeah, it's I lost a minute of level. Okay. Well, I don't know how long the minutes are. How do we track what minutes are? I just uh, kind of six seconds around. Oh God! We, we, most combats last seconds, not minutes. So uh, you're twenty going. thirty seconds. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. So then that's you're welcome. You have ten rounds. Actually, you don't because you're level technically level four. You have forty rounds of it running around you, which is a lot. Yeah. If if we're in that combat that long. Problem. Yeah. It's a problem, yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. Remember, oh man. Don't worry, channel negative energy. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, so if I was to use, let's say, bless, but that. Oh, that gives us plus to hit. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So I was wondering, can I would scoot in and then. Oh. But if I do bless, can I get bless from everybody right here? Because I don't want to be that yeah. close to her. Yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> I would also like to make sure to point out that I am briefly glowing as bright as a torch, so I'm screwing Bill on any light uh, problems yeah, we have. Very bright right now. Okay, Jeez. so then... James, son of a bitch! Make it official, <laughs> but there we go. I'm going to use bless. Right, it's it's like where it's like where the the androids roll their stealth check using surge and then. Oh, but I have drew I, yeah. I have drew I have drew kite inlays in my armor that gives me a mischance 
in dim light for even creatures with right. dark vision. So the, the, best, like, the best part is it's any D20 roll. So even crafting rolls, technically, I should be able to do that on. Hey, Ooh, we, want... we are blessed. You are blessed. And then Nicodemus right. will Ooh, go. Good. That's, that's really good. Actually, a, a, actually with, go with bite and claw. With, with that was a brilliant move, casting bless first and then having the tiger go. Good job. Yeah. Because now he gets the bonus of the bless. Sweet. You just, just get plus one to attack. The, the, this, uh, is, this is Pathfinder approved. Crap. Crap. Yes. <laughs> and also, doesn't he get a bonus for flanking too? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He, he's got a mouthful so, of nasty necromancer. Oh, God. Bite. He hits with his bite. Oh, oh crit confirm at an 18? Yes, it misses. Oh, son of a bitch! However, however, his one of his claws does hit as well for another slash against the necromancer. So seven plus seven so is fourteen. It's bad when the tiger is the best of you. I'm just yeah. saying. Well, actually, yeah. the <laughs> second the second claw is a the second claw is a twenty three. That doesn't hit then. It does not. Go go. Does Stupid that include the, Does that I include really the bless and the uh, um? Oh, the bless didn't the add flank? on to that. No, the it bless, doesn't. The bless adds what? Plus one oh, die four? With the flank, it does actually hit. You're right. With the flank yeah. and the bless, it does. Ha, ha, so ha. both call and the bite hit. Kapla! Oh, oh, wait. The crit confirm adds to that, too. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, what adds to it? No, the crit confirm doesn't because it didn't confirm. No, but, but the, crit confirm gets, the, uh... the crit confirm gets the bonus and the flank bonus to it, though. It doesn't hit. Da. Son of a bitch! What the crit? Oh, what does but what does the, what what does bless the give confirmation us? Confirmation for the crit doesn't hit. There you it go. Didn't confirm. Okay. It didn't confirm. But does However, it, that was a serious mauling by the tiger. Tiger moves up in the it uh, is. revenge. It's a good, I'm gonna say it's a good job you got this tiger because the rest of you suck so far against any <laughs> kind of. Oh my god, I wrote a 25. What else do you want? The tiger is me! <laughs> like the bane, the bane of the party is anyone who's got any kind of piety whatsoever. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have lots of piety. This happens to be with Asmodeus, the horned lord, which we all shall bow to eventually. To say, like this chick worships. <laughs> I don't Kieran, care. How do you uh, do the debuff where we can make your AC go down like by two. When I hit with sneak, which is what my hope is, which I plan on. Please, doing. please hit so I can actually hit the dumb bitch. Exactly. <laughs> well, then, which is why I keep encouraging everyone to flank because then I can do a whole bunch of cool magic buffs and debuffs. Let's go. You're plus two to flank, right. plus one from blood. Now I get to do the two handed. So let's let's swing it up. Actually, she's so hard to hit. I wonder if I should do one attack with an extra bonus. If I've been your spells, I could drop her shield, but I think I'm gonna risk the two attacks and see. Nothing is hitting. No, this this is a spellcaster that had time to prepare. Yep, well, that's fair. Oh no, I'm saying is, do I do one attack at plus two or two attacks with the minus two? I think I'll do the two attacks. So let's you. see. Uh, drum roll. Oh yes, <laughs> twenty-seven to hit. 27 Too bad hit. that that crit confirm sucked because I would have done 21 yeah. damage with an extra 12 on sneak. Holy shit. So does a 19 plus 2, 21. 21 does not hit? No. But the 27 Two. hits for 10. Right? It's like 23, 24. Yeah, so I'm thinking. 24. Oh, no, 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 I get bless, I get bless on top of that, though. So that's a damage. It only adds to hit. No, no, no. What does bless give me? I don't know. Two. Plus one to hit. Yeah, plus, plus one. one? Yeah. That's it? I thought it was... What do you mean? That's it. That's everybody in the party gets plus one. Oh, but plus I... you get bonus morale saves for fear. I know, but I got, I got like five things floating in my head. Five versions floating in my head. Like there's plus one die <laughs> four. Thinking everything. I'm still thinking about prayer. So plus one to yeah. hit. Plus two. So I had a plus three to hit. So 21 does not hit then. Okay. However, your 12 from your sneak does, and your 10 from your initial hit does. So that is a 22 damage. She nice. is very angry at you right now. She's very yeah. angry at me. Which yes! Is and then minus two the AC. Oh. She's bleeding it's... her own blood. Yes, and so I did a successful sneak. So with the Wildering Strike, 
Yeah. Why did it disappear? God damn it. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. It's down here. Okay. <clears throat> What does it do, though? I had this so. fucking... Okay, here we go. A target becomes bewildered, taking a minus two penalty to AC, but it's uh, minus four against me. Okay. So everyone Is gets that, a minus two. She got a save of any kind? No. So no, she, just, she has I a minus just... two to everyone. She has a minus two to AC against everyone, but a minus four against me. For so how long? Um... Da, 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 da. And also debilitate her target, causing it to take a penalty for one full round. So it's the end of my next turn. Sounds good. All right, you done? Yes, because I felt that that was more important than trying to uh, slip the grenade in her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's not an easy thing in combat without the skills to do it. It's you not. Can, you, but... you can drop it or at her feet as easily because it can hit everybody around her too. Well, I'm, thinking, I mean, I'm thinking if 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 uh, a Kez two drops, and she's I think close to being down, I might do a fuck you Charlie and pull the pin and go chink, <laughs> boom, and it's like point blank. And like, <laughs> it's not lethal. It's, I know it's not lethal damage. I don't care. I'll take us out with. Preparing her. to backpedal if I see this. Well, the idea here is that you don't want to be raised as a zombie, right? Yeah. Well, you yeah. Have to there's... scoop you up into a bucket to do it. Okay. So, uh, Bully Jump <laughs> takes a five foot step to be standing between uh, Tatya and Dikestu, and he swings with his glaive. I will kill you, evil witch lady. Oh. -ho! There you go. More French people, because he's a frog. Wow. Ah, ah, ah. It's thirty-one. Oh. Ooh. 31 to hit. Escargot, that... Escargot. Oh, it exists, <laughs> sir. He actually wrote a 34. Like, holy crap. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Bully, 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 Bully Gup's good at hitting, but his damage is nowhere near yours. Yeah, but he He's pins her, he pins her against the wall, right? Yeah. Uh, it's like, wow. It's, it's a beautiful you... strike with his, with his glaive. It's, it's marvelous to behold. Luckily, he's he already uh, taken a few hits. Is a whirlwind of terrible. You know, you know I, I, the way I picture a Kestu and Bully Gup with that glaive, and a Kestu with that giant, huge sized great axe, there's some fantasy, Final <laughs> Fantasy anime shit going on where they have like swords that are four foot thick and 12 yeah. feet long. And <laughs> just... you can actually calculate that. It's very uh, Final Fantasy to have a sword that's like two totally. times as big as you. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 <laughs> That Akestu's sword or Akestu's axe is probably as big as Bully Gup's glaive, but his axe doesn't get reach ever. Right, because <laughs> ever he doesn't have the long. Sense. He doesn't have the long froggy arms. Right? Like it's just not a reach weapon, so it doesn't get reach, even if it's colossal and fifty feet long. But see, what what Akestu doesn't notice is that Bully Gup's got that prehensile tongue, where the 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 glaive yeah. goes really far out. He has the tongue on the end. Right. And brings it back. Actually, Bully Gup didn't take prehensile tongue. He has patagia instead. But the, but that's what Akestu doesn't know. Mm -hmm. He sees the Gene Simmons tongue. Ah. That's okay. how he gets all the ladies too. Remember, he was all the ladies with the casino that we were in. All the ladies. He all the ladies. Oh, it can, um, Marrow cackles herself as she grabs something around her neck one more time. Oh, God, God damn it! There is a blast of it might evil. Might be it for me, energy. people. Everybody roll me a reflex save, please. Uh, reflex? Or will? Reflex it's not will. the negative energy? It's reflex. Is it will? I, well, I don't know what you okay. didn't roll anything. I didn't see anything on the screen. Oh, no, oh there we go. Yeah, it goes. It's oh, oh, but you only rolled a 12. I'm sorry. 21. Six damage to you. Which is still enough because I Ooh, am. Kinnon takes control. the full 12. Uh, Kinnon takes the full 12. God, God damn it. I take 12. God I damn it, take, Kyle. You take six. I'm gonna fuck you up, Kyle. Well, Bully Gup takes slow roll, slow roll, the slow roll penetrates the shield. Bully Gup takes a full twelve. Roll for the cat. I did. Oh, there we go. Twenty-one. It Only a six. The same thing as mine. <laughs> Only a six for the cat. Right. Okay, I am one more hit away from being zombified. 
So I... am I. Help me, Spock. Help me, Spock. Uh, <laughs> brain, brain, what is brain? I can do what I can. Wow, you guys are... I love clerics, I'm just saying. I wish you had something better than the zombies. Well, then she healed the undead that were fighting you while casting spells at you, but zombies suck. But so here's the, here's the really thing. I only have two arcane. things that I could do per turn right now. That would be way cool later. Right now, I would do nothing but if I was Marrow, if I was Marrow, and these adventurers came into the room, and I was in this dead end room, I'd be like, "I'm already invisible. I'm under my own bed. Let them raid the room. I'm gonna do jack shit. Let them leave." <laughs> so they get my elixirs and my my lacy under things in the foot chest. I don't care. I say I live. You know, lacy under things. I don't know what hobgoblin necromancers have. I'd best I would best have lace the under things. Best we don't elaborate on what necromancer All hobgoblins right. have. Oh my god. <laughs> please, please, please. As Katsu is praying to his god, hopes to god it actually hits his Who is that god? Who are you praying to? Uh, Nocticula. Oh very good. Well done, well done, my team. Well looked up at my character sheet. Let's go. It's your turn. Yes, I am praying to Nuticula that she gives me strength. Or, and do you have any feats or any, like, bling that mm, lets you... No. Actually, actually Nuticula is probably not the greatest goddess to be yelling at in combat. Oh. Yeah. She's, oh, the, rede wow. she's the redeemer queen. She's supposed I am, to I am redeeming myself by removing this evil from the planet. <laughs> okay, hey, 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 watch what you say about evil. Just saying. <laughs> There's more evil than you know. Let's see what you right. got again. Can you do it? This Come is on. a safe. This is a safe space. Don't be talking bad about evil. Oh, oh so 25, 25 of the 26. Mm. Plus 26? One for bless. Plus one for bless. So wit, wit actually made you hit. Oh! <laughs> MVP on Tatia. Good job, <laughs> Desna. <laughs> oh, oh, with that amount of damage, you did the F and the up. As an F up. Oh, did, did she fall to the ground? Oh. She, only had four, she only had four hits left. But yes, she oh. did. She fell to the ground. Oh, so I, I, did, I did a good amount of damage on her then, too. Good. Oh, yeah. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes! Oh, you know what? We totally forgot about the extra plus two oh. because her AC was two minus because I gave you the minus two oh, yes. AC buff. So he didn't even, she didn't even need the bless. I gave him a plus two as well. So MVP on Tatia. Hey, I helped a little bit. Thank you. I, as she falls to the ground, I will Many say... Many deaths of Kenny. <laughs> I would say, if one could forgive, <laughs> truly live loves, uh, truly see love's flaws in each, what flowers can be as she falls to the ground. Huh? Can I roll an intelligence uh, save? Oh, I think I go uh, insane. I, I become a follower of Cthulhu. I think everybody should just get confusion as a permanent thing walking around with these haikus. Erpy, erpy. I can't tell whether it's being intentionally a pursuit. I'd just like to say that the beauty of the haiku is generating it on the fly. Yes. Now, hey, I, hey, I for one appreciate Tim for taking the extra effort off I camera. Too. I think it's amazing. I, I, I'm serious about it. So cheers to I you. I agree. I think you're doing a great job Googling those haikus. <laughs> Googling those haikus. Hey, it's I prepared. I have a couple pages of these, okay? What he needs to do is he needs to do it in the voice of uh, of uh, Sean Connery's yeah. Zardoz. Mm. Hey, I, I can Zardoz. actually do it. Like, okay. So, so, like, I could do a goblin and I can do an orc voice. And that's should, the only reason why I, I always I always pictured a Kez too as a bit wetter and a little bit tentative. Correct. And I tried to make a voice, but it sounded terrible. So I was like, what, no, I'm not gonna do it. What's your goblin voice? Oh, goblins right are totally different though, right? Like, not right now. I, I, like, I like, think like, like a high pitch, <laughs> it's like a high pitch voice, right? I, I see I see uh, uh, a Kestu's voice being like uh Ravencroft's voice from like the, the old uh, what was it, the uh, the Hobbit cartoons Yo -ho. you know that the deep voice singer God, he was the uh, the voice of tony the tiger in the oh yeah cartoon. um um ravencroft it was his last name yeah i right see now. him being that deep voice like you know he also did Yo -ho, the my lad. 
But yeah, but Everybody. I was like, oh, it's probably like a slippery voice. I'm like, uh, I, I tried. You can ask Becca. I even tried. I sat there and I was trying to make voices, and she was like, no, no. <laughs> kind so of like I'm... reading some uh podcast criticisms of other podcasts and mm-hmm. i was trying to i was thinking about because doing more voices full of, people, it's full of critical people true true but it was uh, this is other podcasts but i do want to kind of think about more of a an iconic voice for kiernan because he's kind of a a wispy kind of character but he also oh. plays the uh he also plays that alter ego of uh trevor smiles the 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 um, caravan helper, hmm. who's the marketing okay. and trader. You have killed. That's a terrible accent. Hmm. Stop it. Excellent. So I start I'm, to. I'm going to make sure she's dead. Yeah, I'm going to make sure she's dead. I'm going to stick a uh, both swords in in her neck and do the whole, uh, you know, uh, Anakin Skywalker. Let's take both swords and lop the head off to make sure she's dead because necromancers. Head. I want to make sure she's dead. Necromancer, permanent dead equals chop head off. That's literally my naive thing. I am chopping her head off. Um, do just... we? Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, did we ever find uh, Whisker Fitz's body since we've been Not searching? Yet. No, no he's didn't. probably in the other room. Oh, there's more of this, more of this place. So I, I, I'm looking at, I'm looking at Tati's not at the camera right now, but I'm kind of leaning down with my, uh, you know, knees on the back of uh, Maro and with my swords poised and looking to see if Tatia can do a a proper heel check. I'll do one as well, but I'm rubbish at it. But I want to see if Tatia can do a heel check to see if she happens to still be alive. Like she's... You cut her head off. Well, I'm saying before I do that, I want to see if we want to, like, hey, is she still alive? Do we want to question her? Because I'm about to, like, do the whole Count Dooku cut her head off, you know? She's, she's totally dead. Yeah. She took 22 points of damage beyond her hit points. She 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 got exploded past dead. It was no like one a... saying, I'm going to try and knock her unconscious. No. She is totally dead. Sure. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, sure. I wanted to get... I wanted to remove her because I didn't want to die. <laughs> you don't need a, med- a, a, a healing check because there's a great, but you can see her insides. Her, her <laughs> entrails have become out trails. And, and hopefully there's no out trails starting to wiggle into becoming entrails in regeneration going on. Just to make it sure. Yeah, just check in. Yeah. I'm just hoping <laughs> that her being arcane means I'm about to get another spell book. Ooh, shiny. So we start oh, searching the room? a wizard. Now I'm going to start looting her. Okay, so you loot her. This, uh, you can make perception checks on the room. Search the room, 20. Eh. Enough. Hey, you search the room. Under the bed, you find some um, frilly night things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I gave him this idea. I'm so dirty. It's not my fault. Okay, everybody searches. Yeah, it seems like there's a large metal cabinet up in the northern eastern side of the room. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. There's a baby somewhere. There's a red bar okay. harness set in there. Go. Do you have the list ready? Because I'm about to read out what Marrow has on her. Uh-oh, thing. Sure. He has two potions. Both of them are blue. Of love. Okay. She has three wands. How many How, wands? Wh- how many wands? Three? Yes, oh, that's, wow. that's two more than this. <laughs> she has a two grenades. Well, not including the one I slipped into her pocket? No, just kidding. No, we're not including that one. Uh, four doses of Soothe, a dagger, a cloak, 48 gold pieces. Okay, going to be casting up Tech magic on all the stuff because you know, still a chest here, like a metal cabinet. Oh, second, maybe I should look at that first. I shall do a perception check for detect traps. I changed my my macro to have the extra plus two in the notes. Isn't that shiny? 21. Uh, you don't think this is a trap chest? Okay, well, I shall. Open it really quickly and jump to the side so that Akestu takes it full in the face. <gasps> okay. Just like he likes to every second. He oh. loves it. Uh, 
He it's loves only a door, face. remember? My, sw- uh, my sworn enemy is a door. I've seen it no, on Brazzers. Brazzers.com. He loves it in the face. Nope. <laughs> so, All right. so we'll check the cabinet. You open my the cabinet. Hmm. Cabinet is locked. My connection is being shitty. We got two potions, three wands of two what? Wands. We don't know Not yet. Sure yet. We don't and know. then we got four of something. Four suits. Those are the suits. Four suits. That oh, drug that what? they like. Yeah, that was that yeah. drug that they like, the, the, the dead and pain, so they can cut their own face off and not be like, hey, we're here, it's me. Correct. Yeah. That's right. We got two grenades. Suits? Four suits. Two, suits. two grenades. A dagger. We, 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 have an identi- we haven't identified anything yet. We, we just know that they're kind of like, hey, pull pin and watch shiny happen. <laughs> we don't know what they do. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's locked. I will do a disable device. Okay, sounds good. And that's, that's 18. 18. Yeah, for trap. So so for disabling traps, it would be an 18. If if it's a trap. No, trap finding just lets you find traps, doesn't it? No, it does, it does multiple things, actually. It does like three things. It's a lock anyway, so you only get a 16. But you do open it. Click. We could have just checked her body since she had a key on her. Well, we already did check her body. She did not have a key on her. Oh, okay, okay. Fix it every time. Okay, inside you find ready thing. Yes. Seven, <laughs> seven batteries. How many? What? Seven batteries. Seven. Oh, nice. Twenty-two silver discs. A pouch. Mm-hmm. A case. Three more grenades, three, four scrolls. There is also a suit of studded leather armor, a short sword, a light crossbow with bolts. Studded leather, a uh, light crossbow with bolts. Yep, and, and a, a short sword. A short... Dude, do not forget the short sword. What the fuck, man? All right. <laughs> So if you dump that into the chat too, Hal can verify. Because Hal, I don't know if you know, but there's like a delay between when the audio picks up your voice. You start talking, and then it's like a two second delay until we actually start hearing what you say. Just FYI. Really? Maybe we can try to reconnect or something. Oh, it, it's it, fine I mean, now. I it's think... a it, it's a common thing for him. It happens quite often, but not like every single time. So. I think it might be a function of a mic. There's something in there that's it's making it so it's like a like a smooth ramp up, and it's annoying. It doesn't. I should find out how to turn it off. Yeah, it's uh-huh. it's one of those things where it's a. I think it's a a noise ambient noise deadening thing, and it's like oh, it doesn't it doesn't register you actually talking until it, you talk for two seconds. Just start shouting like an American, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? Obviously, you don't know English, so if I speak slower and loud, you can understand me, right? Uh, what are you doing? I'm <laughs> using sword magic and attempting to identify anything that looks magical. Or okay, so or, magical items on that list are the potions, the wands, the cloak. Cloak. I missed that. Yeah, we missed the that cloak. too. Yeah. The scrolls and the light crossbow. Now, when you say that we've all searched, I'm assuming you mean like under the bed that I'm sitting on right now because I'm horribly injured, bleeding out to death right at the moment, right? All that? You're not Speaking out. of, would anybody like it if I popped by and did some cure light wounds? Bully, bully gap and I are fucked up, man. I would. That is true. I, right. I would get. I would give you. Yeah, while everybody else is doing that. I would give uh, you a kiss on any body part you want. Friends, and it uh, goes around about the room casting mm-hmm. your light wounds in moderate. I'm getting one. my sheet out. Uh, uh, Twenty no spell slot. Oh crap! On the potion. Okay, we we'll prefer alchemy, but this will work. Okay. The potion is a potion. Two potions of cure moderate wounds. Oh sweet. Which she hoped she had a chance to, tr- to drink, but she didn't. 
too busy trying to murder you all. Oh, oh, see, what happens if... Hold on a second here. If one of these bastards on Twitch says, everybody drink, and do the NPCs get to drink potions of healing? Hold on a second. We need to... Yeah, that's, that's exactly Dude, what, what, what you really... What the fuck, man? What you really don't want is them to click the button that says, let's have a random encounter. God, God damn it. Yeah. That is I'll zombie. See. That all the oh, oh a random encounter would have been all the parts in the other room zombified and started crawling off of the operating table towards the back of the party behind Alexander. That would have been amazing, scary uh, like the ring kind of scary shit right there. But that would have been wand cool. one. <laughs> Eighteen wand number one is a wand of ray of enfeeblement with Ooh. thirty-four charges. Ooh. Don't forget, I can cast uh, stuff and wands and things too. So, hey. everybody drinks. Oh, everybody drinks. Ah! Hey, uh, Tatia, not to be selfish, but who got the cure moderate? Uh, oh, yes. So the first one's for you, Ooh. and the next one I am rolling is for a Katsu. Hi, hugs and kisses. Thank you. I needed that. Uh, no, Bully Gap. Bully Gap. Yeah, Bully Gap. Sixteen. Hit the points. So I am at 20, which is okay, but I'm still hurting. I am not going to one two. more cure light wounds, so I'm just going to use my bigger ones. Uh, I'm like one. Dave Chappelle right now. Come on, man. Hook me up. I'm hurting over here. Speaking, yeah, of, speaking of hurting, I went through the growler of the uh, right. honey box. Belly gap. Don't you have a wand of cure light? Uh, not yet, I believe. Do we? I don't think we do. Although you discussed buying it and then didn't. Yeah. That's nine back. I think we used the party funds to buy Tatia Wand of Vibrations. We weren't sure what that was used for, but <laughs> uh, we didn't ask. We just thought, you know, it kept her happy. I don't know what that meant, but, you know. <laughs> so I think yeah, I, I nailed the second wand. wand. <laughs> nailed it with a 29. That would be a Wand of Ray of Exhaustion. Nice. How many charges? Exhaustion do. 18. It's awful. Exhaustion is awful. In fact, I can show you what exhaustion does. I, I'm looking I'm looking for exhaustion. Oh, wait. Exhaustion is not in conditions. What the hell? No, it's uh... a... Yeah. Oh, here it is. Exhausted. Yeah. Here it is. So exhausted yeah, character one. moves at half speed, cannot run or charge, takes a minus six penalty to strength and dexterity. Oh, that's a huge debuff. Holy yes. crap. And, and, and after one hour of complete rest, an exhausted character only becomes fatigued. A Holy fatigued, crap, dude. A fatigued character becomes exhausted by doing anything else that would normally cause fatigue. So that's actually pretty huge. It doesn't do anything for my sneak or anything, but hey, someone who can't run or charge and takes a minus, a, basically a minus three to hit and damage for strength and a minus yeah, three that's... to AC for dex. That's huge. That is that is hoping, pretty amazing. And, and they move at half speed. I was hoping to pop off Raven Feeblement on um, it has to. And one three thirty four is a yep. wand of scorching ray. Ooh. Oh my so, gosh! Seen charges. Ray of Enfeeblement's pretty badass. It has to. If she would have hit you with that, that would have been effed up. It. So you take a penalty to strength equal to one die six plus one per two caster levels. Oh, that so, would suck. I would definitely so, not hit anything. So I'd that you one, so you'd be at minus six to everything. Be awful. Yeah. <laughs> wow, these are like these are pretty these are pretty nasty wands. Who all can use wands in the party? A, a successful fortitude save reduced the penalty by half. I, I can use I can use wands if I roll my use magic device, which is pretty sick. But obviously, it's a uh, um a wizard spell for um you know alexander the thing is though is that alexander should uh, i shouldn't say I, sh I shouldn't say should but it might be a good idea for alexander to let kiernan either have one he doesn't use or <laughs> let kiernan know where they're at in like case that. if if alexander drops in combat and he needs to use them alexander should know where they're at but that's everybody up to him drinks. to decide everybody drinks I have one more swig. I gotta, I gotta. Say so you fooled them. They didn't even we, 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 we love all of you from Twitch. 
we love we love all of you from Twitch and hate you at the same time. Yeah, I think <laughs> mostly love. I think that would be a good idea to if whoever could use wands like some multiple people that can use it because especially if we have stuff like debuffs like the only reason why we we're one of the things that are able to beat that um, caster was the buffs and debuffs that the party did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah, I think so my, debuffs my, are like my, a big deal. Yeah, my debuff on sneak attack is what's important. So everyone should try to flank as much as possible because you always I can think do everything so you many... do is most important. That's just it does. You're an arrogant we, rogue. That's what I'm trying to manipulate all of you into thinking. I am what's important. No, but Tate, I, do you have, I have enough lots to of give options. me a heal or? Uh, oh no, I'm not healed. No, I'm just kidding. I was. <laughs> You're like fuck you. <laughs> oh, like, I'm sorry. Um, I find those tentacles disturbing yet strangely alluring. Okay, and I'm gonna click cure light wounds twice for you. Ooh. <laughs> oh. All right, what else? Uh, let's see, we got the wands. Ooh, we need. I got, thank you. I got 13 hit points. The dagger magical. Man. No, the dagger is not magical. Okay. Uh, 12, cloak. right? Okay. Cloak and then four scrolls. Cloak. What's next? Alexander, cloak, go for you. 22. 22. It is a cloak of resistance plus one. I want to know where the baby is. Who of who of us does have a small kid? I guess. <laughs> Roll one. Me. Oh, 15. natural one. Fifteen. It's good enough. I'm not gonna count these. Uh, this is which scrolls? Scroll one. Yeah. Scroll. You need to read magic for scrolls anyway. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Cast up read magic. Two scrolls of animate dead. Two scrolls. So one for the spellbook, one for the open for the use. <laughs> Two scrolls of animate dead. One scroll of command undead. One scroll of technomancy. <gasps> Woo! Swing! <laughs> Awesome. We haven't searched the cabinet yet, or have we? Because where's the spell? No, we did. All the stuff that came out of the cabinet. Okay. Oh, piss break. Beer back. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Thanks, Tim. Really needed to know that. I, th I think. Wash your hands, Tim. I think. Uh, I'm going to ask. also cast your light wounds for Alexander. Did he pick up on that? I am not. Hurt. I, oh no, I am from the uh never mind. Yeah. Cool. Yes, Thank you, you are. <laughs> uh, I'm not um poor thing. He doesn't know. Kiernan, <laughs> Kiernan is gonna ask Alexander if these are divine or arcane, because I'm skeptical. I think that there is a between the mattress or a false bottom to the cabinet that i still think is there that i want to search and tear the room apart because i think that there might be some kind of spell book or something more here the, the gm may uh override that but i believe they're arcane from what i know i don't yeah, kieran doesn't know i'm not metagaming i'm simply saying there should be a spell book right this is a wizard right and he's like Looking for a spell book because we haven't found one yet. Unless she's a sorcerer. I don't know. A sorcerer. Sure. Um, I suit of studded leather, spellcraft. Thirty. What about? Oh, shit. What are you going for? Suit of studded leather. Studded leather isn't magical. Uh, missed that. Kitty. The only other magic thing is the crossbow, and it's oh. a plus one light crossbow. Okay. Uh, I thought you said the studded leather. It doesn't look like it's for like a. It's small, but no. <laughs> oh, Tatia, you you were talking over Hal. We couldn't hear what he said. Can you hold on a second? What I I thought you said the studded leather was magical, Hal. So we missed that. No, nope, just the crossbow. Apparently, plus one light oh. crossbow. Okay.
Um, and I guess yeah, uh, it's just armor. knowledge engineering against the grenades. The grenades. We need engineering. Twenty-two. Those. That'll work. That'll work. All the grenades, the gas grenades, all of them. Thirty-four grenades. gas That's grenades. What we totally want. Five gas grenades. Total. Gas. How many? Grenades. Marrow had two, and there were three in the cabin. So five. Okay. Oh, they're all the same. Five okay. gas grenades. That's a lot of gas grenades. <laughs> Do you have any stats in the um, uh, la, 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 the party notes or anything you can share with us in the uh, handouts? Like, what's the stats on them? You have stats for some of the other stuff? It depends on whether I've actually managed to put them in there. Let's look. No so, what does, so what does the uh, cloak do? It's a resistance uh, plus, plus one. one. Plus one to save. Ooh, which I believe okay. Anita's been looking for. That's true. Hold on. For the cloak, yeah, my computer is being a piece of shit. It was shit, a cloak so. of what? Resistance, resistance plus one. A cloak of resistance. Plus one to all saves. Nice. See, like we're having problems. Everything, there's a lot of chopping and crosstalk tonight. I don't think we're getting a good connection. We're getting a good connection. It's just the crosstalk. It's not bi-directional. When one person talks, it kind of overcludes the other people, so. We need to start raising our hands when we're going to talk. Yeah. Oh, we can um, turn on the talk, but you know. Ignorant folks. So, so just to clear the air, the studded leather, I thought you said was registering as magic, but it is not. It's just normal studded leather? Not magical, but it's not normal. You couldn't put it on. No one here could. It's a strange shape. Oh. Oh, it's probably for the rat folk. That and maybe the crossbow might be whisk of his because maybe the short is thing. now you look at it, you think it's got a tail hole, so it probably is for the rat folk. But if you put it on backwards, all males could wear it then, right? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Girls could wear it too. That's right. Could wear it too, Bill. It's you a gotta hunch too. over. That's right. Fuck. All right, so I do we? I don't have the grenade. Uh, did you identify the potions? I yep. missed that. He did. He did. Okay. The moderate ones. A few moderates. So. All right. Well. So there's... Bill chopped off the head. I'm gonna take her head with us. Well. What for what? I want to intimidate whoever else, whoever else is in here. Maybe we don't have to fight, and I could just intimidate them with the head. Beer break. And running around with the head is probably going to intimidate you, regardless, right? Yeah, um, he can. He can wear it as a flavor flave medallion. Yo, punks, what's up? <laughs> grab up any notes or anything that are in the desk uh, before we move on to the next room. I am getting terrible clipping on audio. I oh. think it's my side. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is Hal, because I'm not hearing it from Bill or Lexor. I'm just hearing it from you, Hal. What? I'm just hearing it from you. You're the only person I'm hearing it from. So I'm clipping. That's what I'm asking. Yes, yes, I, I yes, hear you. Are. I hear you. It's fine, 100%. Huh. Okay, so I'm clipping for just Tim. That's super Cut weird. Down. I'll just re reconnect, don't worry. Well, but you probably want to reconnect your audio if I'm clipping on audio. All right, right back. Woo! Look at that! Subscriptions have occurred. Gifts have been shared. Oh, thank you. I like people subscribing. It makes me happy. Great! Because you guys are great. They're just trying to subscribe so we can get better internet, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's a cool one. I like that. What did you get? Is that a hippo or a unicorn? It's a dragon. Is that a hippo or a unicorn? Oh, I guess that did fix it. All right, cool. All right, so I am doing the supernatural brewery. Blue Dream, the Blueberry Milkshake IPA, which is quite excellent. 
Hmm. So, what are you doing? Hey, Becca, what are you doing? Hey, Hal says hi. Uh, I think we need to gather up everything in this room, notes, and then head for the double doors to finish off this uh, loose ends. And well, so we got a, we're looking for a rat folk. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. More gifting is occurring. Look at that. Gifts. Everybody's getting the emotes tonight. Ooh. Emote. Thank you, listeners. Even though we're our heads are gonna spin the next day, right? Ooh, don't forget to check a... don't forget to check out Discord with other banter and chats and finding out. Right. Pride paint there thing. What was that? You got a pride paint emote. Ooh. Tis the season. Is the season. All right. Um, Hal, I'm gonna walk up to the uh, double doors in the dissecting room, and then I'm gonna um here to the door so I hear any like movements or whatnot. Yeah, perception. I'm gonna move into that room too, so that I'm. I had uh, listened to that prior, but uh, by all means, do it again. Are you still carrying a head around with you? Uh, well, I was going to use it to intimidate somebody. It's right, hey, it's so... hey, hey, it's a fashion Down accessory, legit. Well, it's for the rat folk, right? For the rat folk, what that? The head of Morrow. Why is that going to do anything for the rat folk? The rat folk are opposed to Morrow. Well, I know to show that hey, we kill Whis Morrow. Whisker Fist might want to wear it as a freaking helmet after this. Seriously. Not right? everybody is sick as Bully Gup, okay? <laughs> well, that's only uh, a 17, Hal. Do I hear anything on the other side of the door? Hang on, I'm going to look up technical issues. Dictical difficulties. Oh, real ones. As in, cameras have vanished. The, the real problem the list pretty quick here. The real problem is, is that Hal lives on the seventh plane of hell, and everything's hot, so his computer's like overheating. You mean oh, Hal? You're good now. They, they're back on. Uh, mostly, I've lost Bill. What? Hello. Oh, no. Oh, it's got you girl. You're okay. Black I found it. Oh, it's OBS. OBS sometimes just decides to stop sending the stream cameras, and you've got to fiddle with it to make it come back. It's really process intensive on that. It is, especially doing this where you're taking tiny bits of the screen and streaming it through everything. Mm -hmm. It happens. That's why we don't use the same thing for voice as we use for video. Stop so. trying to take your little thing and jam it through everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you roll perception 17. You didn't hear anything. It's quiet. You were very quiet. So mm. if if I'm there, and since I don't really trust the fighter, might I make a perception check too? Because I'm very skeptical of his abilities. <laughs> okay, if you want. 21. Everybody else want to move up? Very quiet room. Okay, I, that's what I heard before, so I take that to the bank. I'm like, give him the thumbs up, like <laughs> implying that he opens the door. You can't hear the <laughs> gentle weeping of the prisoners. Gentle weeping. I'm going to do a uh, uh, perception check on traps for the door as he starts to reach for the handle. And I'll decide later if I say, no, stop, or hey, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> All right, uh, let's take a look here. Trap finding would be a, is that the second roll, the first roll? What happened? So, What's the, the level designers that assume everybody checks or disarms traps as they're heading to the bathroom every night Thir are just <laughs> insane. Right. 13 is my trap finding perception check. I don't think this is trapped. Give a kez to the thumbs up. Go for it. I hear open nothing. Door open doors. Opening it. Remington room sweeper. Uh, yeah, I am opening the door. Okay, sounds good. Can you go putty? Are you talking to your child or your dog? Is it Ankiki? Oh, I talk to my dog that way. Is it Ankiki? Yeah, you, know, you can tell Alexander. Seriously, really? Like when she talks to her child, it'd be like, "Hey, god damn it, get off your ass, get off your phone, <laughs> stop playing video games." Like a true parent, right there. That's exactly oh, all right. right. 
I talk uh, more about my dog than I do my child. <laughs> Kiernan, it is your turn to see if there's a trap between this door to the next door. I will use my the room beyond is a small room with double doors on the opposite side. Ooh, you know what I heard you you know what I heard you say? La 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 murder hole. That's what I heard you say. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I'm <laughs> like looking at the map. I'm like there's... murder hole. The murder, the murder hole. That's, That's right. Oh sad, shit. Yes. I'm rolling shit tonight. Murder Fifteen hole. on trap finding. It is clean. It's a murder hole. It's a murder hole. It's okay. Go for it. Uh, Thumbs up. Let him move forward. No. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like shove one of my regular axe on the ground and see if anything happens. You're putting your axe on the ground. No, no. My I have a, I have a regular like axe. I'm really just gonna like toss on the ground and see if it does anything. Yeah, regular regular axe, so which would right. make us all encumbered, but not him. Ooh, let me just whip this out. <laughs> <laughs> You throw an X into the room, it platters on the floor. Okay. Oh. If Kieran looks at his backpack, the, the, the total weight of his whole backpack is like laying on the floor. Player paranoia. That's so right. I will go step into the room and pick up my axe. Okay. Laser Does rifle. anything happen? Step in and we'll see. I step in to the room. Don't see you moving. Sorry. Wrong person. Yeah. Cannon moves in. Okay, no, nothing happens. You pick up your axe. <laughs> That's so, so anticlimactic. <laughs> I'm just like, look at the room, like, this is a death trap. There's got to be like some spiky, spiky or something. I'm well, so paranoid. If, if the necromancer was still alive, maybe. Uh, uh, what, yeah. I, what I need is that little book that Indiana Jones had. A uh, repentant man is it kneels, kneels, and I just dive to the ground. All right, I'm if gonna walk up to the door. You maybe. All right. I'm gonna walk up to the door and I'm gonna listen. Do I hear anything on the other side? Right. Let's have a perception check. You know what yes! I hear? You, you know, you know, you know what I hear at Kestu? I hear the rest of the group not fucking backing us up. Hey, where's everybody else? Where's <laughs> Billy Cup? He's a fighter with me. He's not. <laughs> Sixteen. I'm like I like I tell Billy Cup, get your French ass God, over here. I have such a huge perception Whoop. bonus, and I'm rolling not, not shit poetry. tonight. Oh, get your French ass over <laughs> here or here. Escargot, oh, get your escargot, get your ass over here. Yeah. <laughs> I got a I got a fourteen, Hal. I'm not very good at perceptive. Don't don't make me bully obeys your ass. Get over. There's, there's some slight noises. They're quiet. They're like liquid, maybe? All right. I'm going to turn oh, that's around. Bong. That's bong water. And I'm going to motion our team. And I'm going to open the door. And motion the team. Yeah, like, like, come on. And I'm going to slowly oh. open the door. Okay, you open the door. Since we're all combat oriented, it's like time for fun. The motion is like, come on, guys. I know we're, we're in a bad guy's place. I'm thinking like <laughs> everything in here is going to try to kill me. What do you mean, we, shadow person? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. Hey, you still have hydraulic pistons, right? <laughs> Anal Intruder 9000 or whatever that movie Top Secret said. Okay. So he opens the door, blindly goes in. Attempting to polygon reveal on a computer that doesn't want to do anything. So give me a second. God reveal. Okay, that's cool. We'll wait. If we reveal well, polygons, then that means we're being well, attacked by Modrons. That's gonna get useful. Helpful. That's right. Well, Sorry. Alexander's trying to fill the dead air, man. It's all no, important it's to the I'm filling the dead me, air. Me, me, meanwhile, oh, the, the down in one. That's a nice one. Oh Jesus! He, the the tiger is licking the uh, viscera off of the operating tables, and Tati's like, "No, Kitty! God damn it! Stop it, Kitty!" Why? Why did I only bring nine percent beers to game? Oh no! It's just the nine percent beers. I, I have a. I have a 12, two 10.7s, and a 9. And then this one is less than that. It's an Imperial. It's an 8. Where's everybody's drinks? My problem is that when I go past this, I run into the scotch. 
There you go. Running into scotch was that. Why is this Running into so scotch is okay as long as you check the kilt beforehand. <clears throat> All right, just so you know, there's a penalty. So if you're not finished by the time that Dunn is, Hal is done, that isn't right. Dunn is Hal. <laughs> I, I, hey, I'm not going to do <laughs> Hal, okay? I'm, I'll take the penalty. I'm sorry, you must There's pay the penalty. penalty. I did wear the kilt tonight. If you were not done with your drink before Hal is done tinkering with his toys, then you have to do it again. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 I already finished. Like I just finished my can, so. <laughs> it's like oh, yeah, that, Mr. Doesn't Drink Alcohol. It's like that. Don't, daffy, don't that, kiss on him. He's, he is risking a very dangerous line between too much water in his blood, and that is a scary thing. You can actually kill yourself that way. Yes, but, which is a lot harder than drinking eight percent beers, like in a tank. I've already gone through <laughs> this growler, and I've gone through four cans, so I've got some Viking going on here. See the front of it. I only saw the warning label on the back. So I went to BJ's Brewery and I had their Honey Bock, which is eight point eight. Oh, so sixty four of that. I need to go to BJ's more. I didn't even know that they would they're, fill growlers. They're, oh yeah, I, I have a Growler Works uh, uh, pressurized one. I got. Oh yeah, um, nice. It's they really leak. nice. The the the, uh, the, 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 the cap tend to leak after a while, but. For it's his birthday. Hey, three of you were talking at once. It's very confusing. Sorry. So how? I appreciate the drunken excitement. Just polite drunken excitement. I just I wait until people hey, come in there, kids. Don't let me come down there. <laughs> so how? Do you yes. remember Tommy Knockers? Sure. The movie. Yeah. So apparently everybody like this is on Tommy Knockers if they're in Colorado, but fuck them because they like that Chipotle burger. And uh, they do their own beer and pressurized <laughs> mug growler. Yep. I, it was less expensive than I thought it was going to be, but I was really excited about it. But since then, it has gotten a lot of decorating on it. Yeah, but oh, this is no! the. Okay, that is not the kind that we have. Ours is like insulated and it's black and it has this kind of crazy ass looking lid on it. No, what you do is you get you get this, you put a CO2 cartridge in there, yep. and then it pressurizes it like a real keg, and it's got a PSI gauge on it, yep. and then it's got a tap on it, so it taps like a real beer. Which is, which is great when your uh, growl has gone flat. Well, no, you know what? I, I had a uh, I had a 64 ounce in there for uh, four days, and it was like the day it was brewed. It was amazing. Okay, that is not what I was thinking about. This is something way different. It's awesome. I love it. That thing is really cool. How long have you had it? Cheers. I've had it for about a year and a half. I cheers. backed it on Kickstarter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 I did get a replacement for the seals just because, like Thing said, it had a chance to, uh, to leak. But it isn't so much a problem with leaking. It's a problem with the stiffness of the yes. lock yeah. on the tap. Like that. Ours got really stiff. We had to basically boil water and pour it in, just loosen it back up again. Yep. Yep. You just you give it a little bad. love. We actually had something in it. It was, it was, we had a beer put in it and it just locked and you couldn't mm. get it open. And then the, it just started leaking and it was just like, this is total shit. But no! yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, you just got to keep it clean and give it love. Mm -hmm. I like it. Gotta, but... Yeah, you've got to really clean it, especially that stupid pipe. It, they're just like, just fill it with water and run it through. It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah but I also, really got, I, I, it. I also cut them some slack because they're kind of the, I don't want to say the first, but they're one of the first to mass produce something like this. And they so, are pioneers you know, of but this. But it's also expensive. Not cheap. Yeah, I, had, I got it on Kickstarter. It, it wasn't horrible. I, now I can't imagine that thing. Hold on. So you paid for that, and yeah. I don't know if it would be kosher for you to tell us how much you spent on it. No, that's fine. I gosh, I don't remember. I want to say I backed it for ninety bucks, and I got that I and some extra seals. At least a hundred for that. Mm. So that is a totally reasonable price, in my opinion, because the growler, the fancy growler I got for Evan that does less than that was like a sixty. Uh -huh. Growler. Yeah, I, I got oh, yeah. one for my birthday for my lovely wife, and they used the same CO2 cartridges as my uh, whipped cream dispenser. So, 
You can even go to like sports shops and get them replaced because they use uh, like paintball but, guns and shit. Yeah. Well, but the, but the thing is, you you need to get the um, uh, restaurant grade mm-hmm. sterile grade. ones. Yeah. So that you can't just go to like, you know, Dick Sporting Goods and get like, oh, I'll get some. <laughs> oh my you know, God! Is no. Dick CO two poster? See CO two pistol? No. Uh, so Costco how? business or Sam's Club? Oh, how? they have the restaurant grade ones. Yeah. Oh, good to know. I didn't know that. So Cheers. How cheap are the restaurant grade ones? Oh, I got like a pack of, I think I got a pack of eight for like 12 bucks or something. Right. Yeah. So how? Hmm. Dick's is like Academy. Right, we have them here. There's one at Baybrook. Well, oh, that's right. We do have Dick's. Wait a minute. It's big. Wait, wait, wait. Are, are, are you saying you need Dick's? What, what, what? what? <laughs> big five. <laughs> Is the other one that's up here mm. or was in Colorado? Sorry, I'm not. Sporting goods, okay. You all missed the bit. You all well, sporting. You all missed the bit where Chat picked up on Wit saying she needs to go to BJ's more. What? Don't we all? I need. Yeah. <laughs> no, so so sporting goods is more about I pistols and like you know targeting, right? The the Costco and and the uh, GFS and the the different restaurant type places are more about the food. You want mm-hmm. more of the smooth, uh, the smooth stainless steel sterile ones because the ones that go in pistols and like pellet guns are more um, lead sealed and yeah. Well, they're they're lead sealed, but they're also like rough and uh, just not machine smooth and they're not stainless steel, so they can have more bacteria and all that kind of stuff. So putting in the beer and you're planning on drinking it that day, maybe it's okay, but the get the restaurant grade so that they uh, are free of bacteria. That is hey, Hal, is there anything in this room? There's plenty of stuff in this room, Tim. <laughs> Cylinders. So much stuff. <laughs> Ooh, I'll What's in the room? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Pause for edit. Are we Pause. Okay, now now Hal knows where to actually get. It. Okay, we're back in action. We open the room and there's awesomeness really, happening. We're not really talking about that shit anymore. You really think I'm going to edit out to that total pile of cross talk bullshit that you just did for 25 but minutes? You, but, you, but, you, but you could get endorsements from Growler Works. That's oh, Growler Works with a W E R K S dot com, people. Right. They probably have a $20 okay. budget. I'm going to make it send me one that actually doesn't leak. <laughs> Well, I think I think they've made improvements, so don't 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 diss them. And no, so. the endorsements Cheers. won't happen, Hal. Cheers to weaponized tits, who's been buying most of the drinks. It seems. Oh gosh, sorry, <laughs> weaponized tits. That I want to drink twice because I think that name's amazing. So. Uh, she is a lovely person, from what a little I've known of her from the two or three hycosas. Uh, I've... Hikosa, but yes. Hikosa? What the hell is a Hikosa? It's my Thursday game. Okay. Oh, it, it, other group. Game. Yeah. Half the people making you drink are here to make Thing drink because he made them drink. Woo! <laughs> cheering. Thank you. There's payback drinking going Yay! on. That's amazing. Oh, that's so cute. Look it's at like the cycle of life. Oh, Hal, were we, we were going to talk about doing uh, the vampire on the side, too. So we should talk about that offline. Let's do a vampire on the side. I Everybody, totally, I totally want to do a vampire game. One motherfuckers. I, I would totally go for side vampire. Totally side vampire. Down in one. Right. Well, oh god, Jesus. Oh, I already did my my carbonated water. So yeah. That side vampire is oh. totally what we do in the shadows, anyway. I fucking love that. I'm mm-hmm. actually gonna have to get more booze. I am running out of things. I'm sorry. You about. you said booze truly doesn't count. Sorry. What? What booze? <laughs> so how? <laughs> what is in the room? <laughs> I got it again. Oh, let's. Oh. Bunch of cylinders. <laughs> no. Sorry. Would you like a description for this room? Yes, I yeah, would. Please. Yes, and take a good one because I'm going to be gone. Yeah, because this looks like a lot of scary, like laboratory tube shit going on, like super soldier. Uh, Steve Rogers in a necromancer context kind of. Yes, they've been super soldiering Whiskafist. Yes, I'm worried. There we go. 
Well over a dozen large glass tanks sit against the walls of this oval-shaped chamber. The tanks themselves are semi-opaque semi with, really, <laughs> with condensation, grit, and filth, but several of them seem to contain some sort of figure within. Each tank has a metal rimmed door on its front, allowing the contents to be accessed, and one tank to the north has been wrapped with several coils of rope. Rope okay. and containment, so that would be probably where they'd keep an unwilling person. You bastards, you blew it up! Okay, I'm worried that we've got some super soldier zombie shit going on here. Um, Are there... Is there anything that we can see immediately that is indicative of any centralized... Are these... Are there tubes going to something in the ceiling? To something in the room? To... They just seem to primarily be tanks filled with something. All individualized, then, huh? And that one in the is that one on the right or the left? In the north, you said that was. No, uh, one up there. That one will do. Pick one. Either of those two is fine. Okay, this, uh, th this one here, I guess. Does yeah. this look like tech stuff then? Since it's been. Death two walks into the room, and there is a loud noise of shattering glass. Ah. Uh, you will have initiatives, please. Let me. I, I'd like to say one thing first. Uh, okay, that's, that's all. Beautiful, thank you. We're <laughs> never, now we're never getting that endorsement. Remember, click your initiative, or your token first before rolling the initiative. Sorry, I thought we were like going to go investigate, and then no, yeah. that was no. You you were investigating. Ooh. You totally legit. The yeah, um, two this round brought to you by truly carbonated alcoholic beverage from. I need to, it's upside down. Fuck. There, there you go, baby. That's, that's it. Oh, the vampire that bite. That's amazing. That that boosted her stock like, oh, 97 cents right now. Oh, seven bucks. Oh, awesome. I think I've got to 12. Revenge is sweet. Uh, initiatives, please. Oh, god damn it. Have I rolled anything over an eight this entire goddamn night? I have amazing rolls, and it's like all the stuff I'm like, uh, 11. You know no, what, though? It totally, role-playing role playing wise, I'm like, okay, all right, let's go in the room in three, two, uh, Kira, I can't do what you doing? And he like goes in. We're apparently fighting lobotomite, so I'm not too frightened. Let's see, oh, lobotomite. Lobotomite. <laughs> Just like an android to underestimate, just like, just like an android to underestimate the power of raw carnal stupidity. No, that's what I have you guys for. <laughs> All right, shots fired. Okay. So Alexander with a tiny T, what do you do first, smart guy? <laughs> well, since I'm behind the rest of the party, I'm gonna move up closer. Hopefully, so where I can. Why am I? Are you going backwards? Seriously? It, it's grabbing the the. You, you literally have more hit points than half the group, and you're like, I'm going to the back of the group where I don't see. Every I time see I grab my, I token, see two things, jack and shit. <laughs> every time I grab my token, it grabs the map and moves it rather than my token. Oh, How weird. Are you a map player? How is that possible? I am not sure. Thing yeah, has a map player. He has uber privileges. Okay. I'll move him. He'll move right here where the creature bursts out. No, I won't. I, I, I will won't fight you. With... Enough of that. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm such a bastard. Bad. You shouldn't be able to see the map layer, dude. Stop that. I have more hit points than the fighters. I will attack the darkness. Come where on, are the where Cheetos? You um, I'm going to move up. To behind Kiernan or behind Iketsu and cast Tech Magic. That's a good idea. You should do totally cast Tech Magic. Cast Tech Magic into the room. In the room, there is. I hope you magic. A Bee Gees anyway. 1970s disco ball in the center. Bully Gump hasn't been drinking. Oh, uh, Bully Gump. Bully Gump's super drunk. 
What is Bully Gub's constitution? Constitution should come into the fact here, really. You know, my constitution is pretty good. I guess Hal has to drink double for himself and for Bully Gub when. Uh... Yes. Drunk DM equals boon for us. Boom! Tim- <laughs> Tim- Timothy, you should be encouraging. Hey. He's all healthy. He drinks water and eats apples, and I'm drinking. Beer. No, no, but he can still be the corrupter and say, "Hal, you should drink because Bully Gump and the NPCs have to drink, right?" Look good. Look. Sure. The smoke shake oh. is pretty good. Uh-oh. Xander, you don't detect any magic in the room. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yay! Um, Alexander is back. Gotcha, it's I, you. Did you have something else? Sorry. Nope, I'm holding there. Gotcha, it's you. Remember, it? we're here to, you. to save and protect a rat folk. True, which is like essentially non-lethal damage at this point if we see a rat folk, which is what I am defining up front so I sneak attack want, is a minus four to attack wit and which is back i'm also losing thing i am too but i i hear you fine I, tim, are you, oh shit i just lost tim yeah I, tim's video no tim just keeps refreshing for no reason i can detect i have sure. spinning arrows for wit and <laughs> I I'm, just mu- I'm just muting i'm just because i'm eating no, uh, but you, Tim, you're 100. You percent I see you fine. I see Hal fine. You're eating an apple yeah. or something, whatever you're chowing on. A potato? I don't know what the fuck you're eating. He's eating a potato. Do I need to reconnect? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I see your icon thing, so you might need to click refresh. Actually, you are coming through on the uh, the stream reasonably well. I see with eating. I potato. I hear him audio wise just fine, but the uh, video's dead. Oh, Tatia just come back. Oh, everybody's right, fine. Uh, Yet again, a wondrous part of um, Roll20. That's right. Because it's a Friday night, everyone's using Roll20. We still have to use the Mr. Mr. Burns. Excellent. Now that we're back online. so It gets to the point where it's just really overburdened, I think, around this time where everybody's playing. So you've got like East Coast playing, Central's playing, and then West Coast starts and it just it just crashes out. Nice hat, dude. It's the second hat of the evening. Hmm. Similar hat to that. Oh, I had this hat from Cedar Point in Ohio that was a squid one that was like total Cthulhu. It had like squid at the top here and it had like like four foot long like tentacle arms. I totally have to wear that. We do call a Cthulhu or a vampire. I'm totally wearing that. <laughs> those of you on RPGMP3.com or Twitch, totally vote for that. So have Thranduil wear the uh the 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 praise Dagon and Cthulhu hat. Yeah, that's oh right. <laughs> See, I immediately imagined you wearing like one of the squids and the bright neon colors that you win as a prize <laughs> at like fairs and stuff. Totally true. <laughs> I uh, I sitting on your head. I was in minor. I was in minor league baseball, and I uh got into minor league baseball because I went to Cedar Point actually. And you know those pitching games where yeah. you throw the you throw the ball and you know, do you do you win the ball by throwing a consistent fast pitch and like if it's plus or minus three miles per hour you win a prize, right? I consistently threw a ninety eight uh, mile per hour fastball uh, three times in a row and won. And there happened to be a uh, scout for the Toledo Munhens with his daughter right next to me and signed me up. Yeah, that's amazing. And two, how old was his daughter? Well, I mean, I don't know as old as his daughter, but I mean, he was a (laughs) scout. He was a scout. I was college level and it was like, I was just entering college and he was looking to... So I was like, uh, I was a pitcher, but I was like six foot seven. I was also a, a pitcher and a first baseman. So that yeah. extra, that extra speed you came off of the mound, I was getting 98 mile, 98 to 100 mile an hour fastballs consistently. So 
but the that story was about Bill, not his daughter he had in, in college or high school. No, I had no daughter in college. I had a daughter hey. much later. <laughs> hey, Hal. So what happened when I stepped in the room? I'm sorry, I stepped. I had um stepped away for a moment. But lots of conversation happened to him. Yeah, all I see, all I see are things, eyebrows, and a Viking helmet. So he needs to raise the. <laughs> no, uh, he doesn't. It's perfect, just like that. All I see is Elmer Fudd and Spear <laughs> Magic Helmet. <laughs> Do we see anything in the room? Yeah, they, yeah, there's the sound of breaking glass as you enter, which is why combat began, and it's Tatch's turn. Oh. So you, 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 so you used your my, so. To mechanic wise, uh, Tim, Akesu uses move action to open the door, another move action to move in however far he wants to, right? So, where are you? Just stepped in and combat began. How? With where I am, do I need to walk around this bloody table to get through there? Technically, yes. I mean, you could hop over it, but it's got body parts on it, so you might get a bit icky. Okay. So, Why? so you could you you move around it for regular movement, or or you could move through it at uh, um, difficult terrain, right? So you could double go one, two. Well, well it would cost three, a double four. move to double move to get on it, and then moving across it is fine, and then hopping off it is fine. I don't so, know what mathematical about a wash. It's, it, it, about, it's a, about it's, it's about, about a wash. Yeah, it's about what she thinks is more um, cool and uh, cinematically awesome, right? What do you want to do, baby? Well, the the truth of the matter was to see if there was going to be literally any option to get into combat, but I don't think there will be. So Tati is going to be like, whatever. Not, she's way cooler than I would be about it. She'll saunter around the table. Oh, you're going around the table? You're not going to jump on and, like, grab the far end of the table and <laughs> cross the because gore and just slide off? Patsy is pretty cool about that stuff. She wouldn't worry about that. She doesn't have to worry about getting dirty. She's going to look good during this whole thing. She's just going to saunter oh, on over is. there. And while she's doing that, she's thinking of what spell she's going to cast. And... Mm. Lion, where is <laughs> she? He, uh, Ketsu goes into the room. You hear cracking glass. A uh, Ketsu saying, "Oh, shit. And then <laughs> Tati's like, "Oh man, it's on!" She goes, "All right, here comes the the bitches back," and she goes flying into the combat. Uh, that's what Kiernan hears anyway, because Kiernan's oh totally God. into Tatia. So. <laughs> oh my. God. Yeah, and then that's the her level. Here we go. Here uh, we go. and then I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith while I'm standing over here. Okay, just like casting Shield of Faith in thyself. That's a good spell. Yes. Oh, that's a that's a spell on you though, right? Correct. Right. Well, te- technically yeah. she can cast that on other people, but why would she do that? <laughs> I can if I need to, but not at this current time. I will not. I could share okay. I could share any of my spells with my cat, and then if it's a touch spell, yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally. Hey, we don't begrudge that. Totally cool. <laughs> totally Screw you guys. I'm doing him. Kitty, come here. Wake up, extends his polearm, and prepares in case something <clears throat> comes into range so he can walk at it. So things are breaking out of these glass tubes, basically. How? Many cracking of glasses did we hear? One, that's, two, that's sig- nine. That's, that's a significant amount of breaking. <gasps> Alrighty then. I say I will use my move action to close the door and let uh it has to handle things for a couple rounds. Really um, closing the door. Seriously? <laughs> oh, no. You've done you have literally done that to me. So I don't want to hear any bitching. <laughs> I, I, was well, I, thought, I, I let it close and let turn it. I had nine smilers with pistols by myself. I seem to remember another. I learned my lesson. Where, I learned yeah. my lesson. I never I haven't done that again. Not I've been good first enough going because to there was <laughs> Alright, so I'm not gonna do that. Alright, uh so so I am Mr. Perception with a massive, like, plus 10 to Perception. What oh. is happening here? Is there, like, a, a total super soldier cracking? All of them are breaking? Two of them are no, breaking? not all of them. There's, there's a, a percentage of them are breaking. Uh, you have to go shit. in to look to see how many. You can't see the whole room. I am, I am at the door. Is there, like, 
Uh, one of yeah. these are. Uh, yeah. Is anyone yes, of yes. this? Yes, that one right next to you is doing it. So is a few on the other side on the opposite wall. There's definitely right. some noise from the left as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna presumably move here, where I assume. Presume, presumably, you move there. Totally presumably, assuming okay. that I move before they do, and that I can you get do. there and do a pres uh, attack of opportunity, but I don't know if I can. Well, tell tell me where I stop. What are you doing? They're inside the tubes right now. Right, the but they're breaking the out. So my plan is to get here and threaten oh. everything around here to stab whatever comes out. So my plan what is What you're to... saying is the first thing that comes out, you're going to hit it. Yes. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I got you. Or Bernie. before they Bernie. come out, I'll, before they come out, I'll hit it. So is, if, oh, if something is not. cracking and coming out, as I will stab it as sure. it starts to emerge. Okay, sounds good. Because, too, it's you. I want to attack this round is my point. <laughs> um, so which of these is breaking this next to me? This one to the north of you. Is that the only one that's breaking, or are there a bunch of others? Oh breaking? no, there's a bunch. There's a bunch on the opposite side. Uh, this one. Well, I don't see anything on. Does he flank if he moves here? Does he flank that guy if he moves? Is here? there? Yeah, is there one like right to the right of me? Is there? A... Is that breaking glass right there? Yes, that one to the right of the door is. Move breaking. here it instead. Seem... But then there's a, another bunch on the opposite wall that are also doing it. Okay. Well, I was trying to get like you know back to back you, so you're not like by yourself. So 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 back to back is okay, but flanking means we can destroy a, a target completely. Okay. So so well, shit. If you if you flank here and I destroy it, you're basically without a target. Uh, that's fair. So I want to stand right here and ready my action. As soon as something bursts out of the container. I'm going to hit it. Where are you going? Right, right, there. right, right. Just, just south of Canaan. Yes. Okay. So you're both, you're and, both and, crowd, crowding into the end of the room with no exits. That's that's what you're doing without knowing what's coming at you. Totally. Yeah, so if you move, okay. if you move here, you could also protect us from being flanked for each other. Sounds I good. Don't, I don't know if that's what you want. I'm not telling you to do yeah. that. I'm, well, but I my so full disclosure, I want to be very clear. I, as a player, don't want to come off as like I'm telling you to do something. That's not no, true, no, no, right? no, no. Like the creature bursts out next to both of you. Excellent. Make a roll. Let's do it. Guessing Whiskafisk is in the one wrapped in rope. Maybe it doesn't open. There's eight of these creatures bursting out right now. Oh, that's Shit. Not good. Eight. Well, but not right next to us, though. So oh, there's two coming out by you. So all right. So which we... which by is the one by me that's in attack range because I have a attack of opportunity essentially because I have a ready to action. No, you, you, have, a, you he... have a held action. Well, ready to action. I was waiting yes. for him to Take pop out head. and then stab. Right? Oh, is he a rat folk? No, he is not. Then uh, some the... kind of some kind of. Stitch together part creature, part mechanical monster with a huge club. Ooh. Made of like metal parts. May so, or may not actually be part of his arm. So maybe like favorite enemy robot, Billy Goop kind of robot. <laughs> right. I am going to stabby not stabby. But definitely not a robot. I will stabby stabby because uh, he's not rat folk in any way, shape, or form. So he is to die. Mm -hmm. 17 and 13. Well, uh, you only got uh, one attack you were holding. Oh, oh! Do you get a full attack? You get both attacks when you hold an action. I. You, you also did a full move, so you can't get both attacks. Nope, that's fair. So should I I should reroll or do take no, the top one the and get a plus take, two? Take the first one. Why you okay, so two? 19 uh, to hit. I don't know. Is the plus two coming from? The plus two because I am no, attacking with right. one weapon and not two handed. Oh, I got you. Okay. So that's makes sense. It does. So 19, 19 to hit? 19, 19 will hit. So 
11 damage plus 12 sneak. No sneak. Moving. Say again? You don't get sneak because they're moving, right? They're already taking their action. Uh, their they action. are, I would their presume action, that they're... No, their action triggers your attack. Therefore, they're already acting, so you don't get the sneak. Okay, okay so... Might you up sooner, Stai, bio break. Um, oh. We're close. This fight's probably going to wrap the game. Okay. Oh, you do 11 points of damage, yes? Uh, yeah. 11 is good. It's not 11, it's not down. Bah. I can only attack once, and then uh, the second yeah, attack doesn't go off. To, it's you. Yes! Um, do I look at the creature to the left of me? Does it look like a rat folk? It does not look like rat folk. It looks like a, some kind of humanoid abomination. Okay, I am going to swing my large great axe at this terrible, terrible creature. You should do that. 16 is a... Come on, you piece of shit. Uh, it is a hit. And you cleave yes. the swing. It literally is just birthing itself from its pod and you kill it. Oh. Oh, dude, you didn't even get it. It didn't even get a chance to, like, weigh it in the birthing <laughs> chamber. You know, it's... Oh. Uh... <laughs> God damn it, baby killer! Uh, da, da, da. There are many more. They're all wandering up the corridor towards you all. Um, swarming oh, I forgot to put little... this in... Uh, I forgot to put this in the... Uh... Um... The beers. This is the peanut butter imperial stout. Peanut butter. It's a horrifying it is a, a is a fat Elvis peanut butter oh, chocolate yeah. imperial stout. It's quite amazing. Open oh, up. I love fat Elvis style anything. They. I don't know if they do anymore, but they used to have a fat Elvis style waffles at. Uh, BB's Cafe, which is a restaurant that's actually now started to pop up kind of all over Houston, but they used to just have two that were in town-ish. You call it in the loop. Um, I guess technically uh -huh. the other one was outside the loop because it was over by the Galleria area, but it was super, super good. They're kind of New Orleans style 20, I don't know if they're 24 hours. I think they are, but if they're not 24 hours, they're super late night. So you could always go there after the bar is closed down and stuff like that. But they are really good. And it, they would slather the waffles with peanut butter and bananas and... Oh, I'm and, lo and love. And, oh, that is <laughs> love right there. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, it's, it's, a, uh, it's, an, it's a peanut butter imperial Hefeweizen. It's amazing. Oh, it's yeah. got the right amount of sweetness from the banana. Anyway... I, I feel uh, so I, I hear a Kestu is completely surrounded and Kiernan is uh, avoiding all damage. That's what I heard, right, Hal? That's yes. That's what you said, right? There's <laughs> lots of people surrounding you and they're going to beat you with the huge <laughs> sticks of beating. Hugs and kiss <laughs> hugs and kisses, Tatia. <laughs> okay, so I have an attack on a Kestu. Oh, yes, my totally gonna miss. Great club. A swing on Kiernan. That's a ten, and I have a swing on Alexander, which is a one. That's totally awful. That's well, does he get like a critical fumble where he bashes his own head? No, Are there critical fumble no. tables? Oh man, Did, he didn't roll a one. He rolled a three. Oh, he's got a minus two because he sucks. Mm -hmm. He has a minus so, two. So, so, so remember, Alexander. Whenever you incubate zombies into test tubes, always give them great clubs when you put them in the pickling juice. Mm -hmm. It's it's a thing, apparently. You know, it's <laughs> it's, uh, it's Alexander's turn, but he's gone for a bio break. <laughs> he casts fireball. He doesn't have fireball. No, he does. It's totally on his form. I doesn't have fireball. I'm writing it now. It says fireball. <laughs> I think he's more likely to take lightning bolts, honestly. Look how sophisticated he is now. He's all better because he rebooted. That's right. 
saying it's your turn. A Alexander did the Ash from Alien reboot. <laughs> Sorry, bio break became imminent. <laughs> hey, that, that, that's that's what the empty cans are for, rookie. You know, you pee. Unfortunately, their bottles and the tips are kind of narrow. It's harder for it's harder for wit. I acknowledge, but you, you should be able to. It's so not fair either. I mean, technically, they make these things that almost look like a beer bong, but it's for your vagina. Yeah, and you can pee into it and. And it allows you to pee standing up. It's great. we have them on our we have them on our uh, uh, scout troop for yeah, the for the say. female crew. We use it and, for backpacking and stuff. Yep, and I, they, so they, they legitimately all buy them because that allows you go allows you to go comfortably out in the wilderness like a like a boy. Yeah, uh, it, it finally allows us to be able to go out when it's super fucking cold outside and not have to just go totally bare ass if we want to go to the bathroom and you can't do that the, when the it's cold, like the cold peeing degrees outside. The cold peeing doesn't affect you as physically as 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 us though because there's more shrinkage for us but anyway you know it, physically depending, depending on your hip deflection and a few other factors i've seen <laughs> things deflection. that uh but anyways, but uh, um, but Alexander isn't affected by either of those gender identities, so he's I will going to step, foot step back and magic missile the one in front of me because fuck that noise. Oh, fuck that noise. That's what we like. Fucking that noise. That's what we want. Noise. Nice. Uh, nine points of force damage. Oh, we like the squarely. Nice nine sounds. Of force. Thanks. And points, he staggers back a little, um, but he's still, still there. He's still up and around. Are these looking humanoid-ish? Yeah, oh, they, they're similar to the rust risen in the other room, except for these things seem to be a bit more sluggish and less aware. Could I arcana or knowledge engineering these? or They're some kind of undead with technical parts grafted onto them. So ju just as a just oh, as a role, yeah, just as a role playing thing, we've all kind of strategized verbally out loud, like you know, hey, any of these rat folk don't do lethal damage, so we're all going to try to I mean, do that. Identify. To There's parts of all kinds of things in these things. Oh, if, I, if I had my new spells, I could fireball into the room and just be done with it. But you know. It, they're mostly humanoid, as in humanish, but they're not all human parts. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. Oh man, this is. Oh, Tatia. This is Tatia. This is, Tatia? Tatia this is, is fucked here. up right here, dude. Hang on. We're gonna be Tatia. Wait, where's the tiger, man? Oh, we're back to the top. Back to the top. All right. Tatia, it's you. So I am going to move one. Mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, oh, combat. 20. Bird, it's going to attack you. What? The one in the door will attack you if you pass through the doorway. You're absolutely right. Thanks. But you have stick AC, so... Do you, you do have a good AC, and they have a terrible to hit. Um, okay, so... so if she goes there and, like, detonates with, like... Desna radiance of oh, it all works. Yeah, right? she's not a cleric, unfortunately. Well, she might think she is, right? <laughs> I mean, a cleric would be great in here, wouldn't it? Hey, oracles are awesome. Don't not uh, Tatia. What you doing? I'll take animal companion over turn undead any day. We love you, Tatia. <laughs> you stay I'm there, gonna you? go. Okay, how many is that? One, two, three. You know what? No, I'm going to stay. God damn it. Sorry, I was getting mad. The token was getting oh, stuck. God. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use summon monster, actually. Two. My summon monster, too, that I have now. Now, remember, that's a whole round action. It's a whole round action, and you have to see where it ends. So if you want to have it flank or get any any specific strategic direction, you might need to move a five-foot step down one so, so you can I'm see into throw, the room. 
I'm going to throw out a little bit of advice. These things are awful. I'm just putting that out there. Our, our He's fire types are probably good. All I need to do is go in there and fart, and they're all far down. Uh, I'm just going to yeah. say they're pretty bad. They have one good <laughs> thing going for them. Beyond that, they're pretty One, terrible. two, three, four. Okay, I'm just going to get right in the middle of these. <laughs> for okay, Desna. So of, for Desna. One of them gets an attack of opportunity on you as you walk through the threatened area. He rolled an eight. Congratulations. Now it's your turn to hit whatever you want to Keep hit. going if you want. He missed. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. In combat with two is probably good enough. What? I was just saying in combat with two is probably good enough, but you know. I think whatever. that's good enough. Yeah. That that's my thoughts as well. So I'm gonna stop there. Mm. And then I If you attack if you attack the one between you and a Kez two, you get a plus two to hit him because you're flanking. Fuck yeah. Yeah. All right. And I will do so with my star knife melee. Seventeen to hit is a hit. In Seven damage evil. Is not that great. Okay, seven damage is okay. You kind of stab in, realize that it's hard to kind of get a good hit on these because they they have metal pieces inside. And so it sharpens my star knife as I pull it out. Okay. Well, I, I, I see it as more of her hesitation to kill something that is in a situation that it's not its fault. <laughs> well, who knows whether it's its fault. There you go. Oligop swings his glaive. Because he don't give a shit. Uh, and strikes directly at the one south of Tatia. 17 is a hit. 9 is bad damage. Um, he strikes at it, and you can hear it scraping through metal inside. Hmm. It's pretty nasty. Guidance yeah, protocols uh, offline. <laughs> Maybe I need to figure out how to make these. We need to figure out how to make these. It's right. And then it's you. Do you want to play? <laughs> do you want to play a game? Thermonuclear war. Okay. Um. Oh shit! I got three attacks on me. God damn! All right. Yeah, you do. So does one of these mfers flank with Tatia? Because I mean. Really, there's kind of uh, multiple squares that threaten with Tati. I wholly agree, but actually, no, because you have to be able to draw it right through your square. Oh, no, you don't. Well, I, so what is it in Pathfinder? Because it's normally you need to like, be directly any corner off the goes to any no, corner, you right? You need to be here. Tati would need to be here for you to flank. So neither this guy nor this guy, from a surrounding neither, perspective, neither, work? Neither of them are flanked. There are feats that would let you do that. But right now, no. No one is flanked with you. OK. So since this one flanks with Akestu and Tatia, I will attack this jackhammer right here, over to okay. the side. And Just I will do a stabby, thing. stabby. Oh, I lost that. Look here. 20 to hit, or? 20 on, both 20 and 24 hit. So that's... so that's a 13. Do I don't get sneak at all, right? You do not. So 13 damage. Hit this one already, apparently. Maybe. But he was the one you did your held action on. Ah. He who it's you. So he's not dead? That's well. That's the one thing they have going. Fuck. All right. I will. I'm going to swing my large great axe at the creature that's standing in front of me. Which one? The one directly south of you? Yes. So, so, so to let you know, this one right here, you uh -huh. get a plus two to hit because he's between you and Tatia, and we've already established their hit peg, their hit point bags, right? Sure. Oh, sure. I will hit, yes, I will hit the one that's in the center. I'm not telling you. I'm just giving you this. Well, I, I mean, I don't know. You no, know, no, I get that part. I just I'm didn't know help. that. Well, no, I mean, yeah, I get that. I'm just saying, I don't know that I get bonuses for um, flanking. Yes, for flanking. I mean, they're not hard to hit regardless. I mean, they're pretty easy to hit. But he does roll one. ones and twos. Just saying. 
for crazy. 22 for 29 damage. Oh. Which one did you hit? The one in the center. Shit. Okay, you kill it. Flat out kill it. It's There's a swinging. splash of viscera in all directions. It's Holy shit. Funny. Gold star for the day. I kiss too. <laughs> if he is, he kills. We're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna walk out of this place like Mad Max badasses, surrounded in gore, hanging <laughs> smiler bits. There's so many like yeah, Kiernan's, guts and everything all Kiernan's over. Kieran's gonna hold up a coat with smiler faces. Like I am like Heath Ledger, bitches. Look at this. You know? I'm gonna press the station and come out perfectly clean. So you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is going to be wearing like intestines. So, are you moving? Are you done? <laughs> oh, God. No, that's my move. Okay. I was actually was... planning to use the intestines to make a really nice boudin. There you nice. go. I, I, think the, I, think the, <laughs> I think the I think the intestines, if you twist them in strategic parts, could make a really good, like, uh, you know, uh, you know, dance where you like hit something and it pops and it. <laughs> There you go. There's a performance performance hey. thing. There you go. There we go. Oh, geez. There's It'll a lot of creatures in this room, though. We're, we're, we're surrounded. Actually, Tatia's got people on each side of her, so they have flank it's against okay. her. It's okay. They ain't got nothing on me. You have, you have sick hit points and AC, so I'm not too worried. I do. Still... Well, correction. I, I don't. I am very soft and smushy. Tatia, on the mm. other hand, is a big beefy badass. <laughs> uh, well, I was I was talking Tatia because I don't want to bring you. But if you five foot step backwards, you and I flank that guy, so I can get sneak. It's out. Alexander's turn. But are we able to flank because that's a doorway there? That's one of the reasons I didn't stop at that point. I that's why. Good I moved question. Doorway. You'd be at a negative to attack. Yeah. So, but you still flank though. She, she, yeah, the target would get some cover. From her attack, so it would balance out. So a five foot step doesn't cause attacks of opportunity. So that's up to you if you want to do that. For it's not her turn; it's Alexander's. I turn. know. Yep. We'll get there. All right. So yeah. Alexander, what you doing? Um, you know, baby. Let's double check what I have Boop. left in Mister Mike. Uh. Well, I, I I heard I didn't hear that. You said fireball. What? what? Unfortunately, not <laughs> quite online yet. I'm such a dick. I'm sorry. Um, for the one directly in front of me, I will just fire off disrupt and dead. <gasps> oh, nice. You have a spell? It's a cantrip. Cantrip. Can't realize you had it. I have all cantrips. That's a clack clack. Pumwa! That's a Remington Womb Sweeper nice. for a dead. Okay. Where are you hitting it? Who are you hitting? Uh, the one directly in front of me. Five points of positive energy. Did it touch it? Hit it? <laughs> hey, five it points is... of positive energy might be uh, more yeah. damage because of a dead touch. Okay, that hits. Five hit. points. He, he kind of backs away and just collapses to the ground. As nice. Because yeah. positive energy. Yeah. Positive energy is nice. <laughs> We're going in against a necromancer. I dropped one of my utility cantrips to take disrupt uh, undead. So that's you know. Nice. Okay, I, I need help here in Twitch. Um, Singer Lord was Kamahema Hall. What is there like a language going on here? I don't know. Familiar with Kamahaya? Hi, 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 hi. It's just like you know, as long as it's not Glatu for Ada Nikto, I'm all right. No. Right? That's uh, that's for Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Kamehameha? Yeah. yeah. Dragon Ball Z. Boom. Kamehameha! Yeah. DBC, okay. Which is cool, but not Which necessarily in the wheelhouse. You, it's what you yell when you press a, push a pregnant woman down the stairs also, so not always completely good, but, you know. The I like that. Like Chet's also apparently he was Tati and I, so Kieran is lawful evil and even he's like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> he's lawful evil but he won't attack kids like what the hell? oh my god so we need to reprogram the shit out of Alexander's like 
The protocols. That's the problem. I mean, yes, my character is chaotic, good, but on top of that, I, <laughs> in real life, am All right. so, so I have knowledge. Yes. In, I have knowledge engineering oh. and there's a train <laughs> for technology on. So I'm the only one that could probably reprogram Alexander if I had to. I'm starting to think drinks. there's a behavior protocol thing that needs to be <laughs> What drinks? Uh, oh, no, everyone. Everybody drinks. drinks. Fireball. <laughs> not, not to the founder and first ruler of the kingdom of Hawaii, which apparently yeah. is also named that word. Yes. <laughs> Kamaya, no, it's Kamayahea, right? Yes. That's apparently is also the, the founder of Hawaii. King so, Kamayahea. definitely yeah. many moons ago. <laughs> Plus one history. <laughs> went to Hawaii on vacation, um, kind of. I had a friend that was in the military, and he was like, come hang out. And so I did. It was amazing. And because I love history, I wanted to learn all about Hawaii, and then I instantly got sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, like when, oh. On the Brady Bunch when they uncovered the idol and took it home and, you know, the kid <laughs> cursed. Tarantulas <laughs> crawled over Craig. I was like... I never would have come back here again out of respect for the people of Hawaii. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there's a lot of introduced you to disease. There's all uh, there's other people you know in the military. Uh, yes, you have no, actually, that was one of the reasons I went there is because he was stationed at Hickam Air Force Base, and I was like. Oh my god, I have to go touch things. Let me touch it now. <laughs> I love history. I love history. And so I was really excited to get to go see all that stuff in person. But like on an even sadder note, I was like, I'm sorry, I gave we bun we gave a bunch of you leprosy. And you didn't deserve what? it. Leprosy? What? Oh, oh. there's a bit of that. History. Oh, yeah. History is therefore. <laughs> Yeah. Air, Force, Air Force Academy records I broke. Let's do that history. Down in one. <laughs> Down in one. Oh, no, come on. We have oh, to remove no. that goddamn. So Hal, Hal does that when there's like a half an inch in his cup, and I've got like okay. four. No, I strategically oh. drink. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but but you're Scottish. You should have the best resistance of Hawaiian all. Hawaiian bacon hey. god. Kame. Kame. <laughs> Whose turn just, is it? Hang on, I'd just like to say that on my Thursday night game, one of my players was drinking Jameson picklebacks. <laughs> and every oh, time they drank, they sh shut it down. But but of all the people on the call now, Jane, me, and you, Hal, are the best I consider equipped. them a friend. Who was it? Mad respect for Monster, and mm -hmm. because of that, I'm adding some Cola Ela to my mug now because I ran out of beers. <laughs> <laughs> You're adding what? Thing. What was that thing? What? what well, mad respect to monster or weaponized tits, uh, who a lot of that happened to. So I'm, I ran out of my uh, old screws. So I'm going <laughs> to pull Ela into my uh, mug. Oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's like the best greeting ever. <laughs> There's a lot of cross. There's a lot of crosstalk. There's a lot of crosstalk when the Twitch people are like. Ding, ding, ding. So can we kill these really minor things so we can go to bed? Yes. Okay. Good. No, Alex Alexander, you killed so, one. Thatcher, it's you. Kill, I wanna, a, kill something. I want to. I want to. I want to quote Neil from the Young Ones. Sleep causes cancer, man. Everyone. Knows. Right. I mean, they, it, these, it, these things have been a lot worse than cancer, having great big lumps of metal sticking out. If, of if you would go <laughs> give me access to my third level spells, I would fireball the room. You get a really weird tingle in the back of your head. You think you've got at least one fireball <laughs> maximized. I'll let you have it maximized if you drop it right on top of Kin and uh, uh, Alexander. Yeah. We're we're in the room, Alexander. Don't do it. <laughs> you can kill them after you become sober. So tomorrow? <laughs> I am devoid of human. Of. I am devoid of human emotions. That includes right, well, friendship. Yeah, is going to go despite the fact that Anita can't get a word in. So. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, it's Tatia's turn, right? So the tiger <laughs> and Tatia go. Right. Yeah. Kill, kill something with. Thank you. I Kills will. Kill the wabbit. I so I Tatia yeah, magic. grabs her star knife and with a lot of intensity wails it around at the guy to the <laughs> north of her in a crazy melee attack. Yes, nice. Congratulations. It grinds against the metal inside the body, but it is enough, I think, to kill it. Oh. Star knife. Star knife. Star knife. Group effort. I stabby stabby did and finish it off. All right. And then as the Oof. second part of my turn, Oof. I will I can't select it. No. I will <laughs> cast Some, Oh, you can't, you can't you can't. I couldn't tell if Tim Tim was you doing can't, a superhero. You can't, you can't attack and cast unless it's a less than a standard action, which it is not. Oh, it's not? Okay. You can't do that. You have to wait until you, um, that's a standard action and so is attacking. So you can't attack and. And then you, the you, so you, okay. you didn't do, did you do a move to get to that point? I thought that like ready my weapon, but next time I should do it as the first action and then do oh, the no, action. You only, get, you, you only get one standard action and attack counts as a standard action. So you can either cast yeah. your spell okay. or make an attack. You can I'm move, you. however, okay. still. You can still move if you want to. So Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Star Knife must be a very famous noof. <laughs> before, before you move, Tatia, you had that spell active before that had the um, the floating moat of your yeah, gods. That, that, was, that, that only lasted six minutes, and you yeah, spent far too long I fucking about. Yet. No, this yeah. has been like this has been two minutes tops because we went to the door, oh. opened it, went in. We oh, seriously fucked around minutes? in that room and identified a fucking huge pile oh, of things. No, you're right. You're right. Yes, right. I am. I would agree. It's been longer than <laughs> six minutes, so it's no, not. No, we we identified a buttload of stuff. You're he, you're, you're right. Yeah. And and uh, in real life time, it has been an hour and a half. <laughs> it's been a minimum of an hour. I feel much older. Yeah, <laughs> actually, actually, from the other room to yes. here, it's actually going but, almost. It's an hour and forty five minutes but, now. But for Tim, it's just like fishing, where you like reel the fish in and you go. <laughs> yeah, because Tim's like fourteen, so it doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just saying. Actually, it is actually an hour and forty five minutes since we left that other room. By the way. <laughs> so, Tatcha, what's the cat doing? <laughs> he's got you remember he's got a 40 foot movement rate <laughs> Sorry, you can you can bleep. move through i was you can really move through entertained by the fact that they bleeped out the word stripping and so i was clearly using it as a word that was not necessary to be edited well we're 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 oh, furry stripping. friendly but that <laughs> is not what we're about define if friendly i mean like I don't have much dignity, but I have enough to keep my clothes on for Shit. for this. We're talking, <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking the kete. The kete Nicodemus can move forty feet, and he can do yeah. things through friendly squares. <laughs> he doesn't have to take any clothes off. Five, <laughs> six, seven. Oh, he can move! Wow, that's awesome. If he goes there, he's getting two attacks of opportunity, which you're gonna miss. But if he goes here, he only gets one? Correct. Assuming that's one square. Well, there. Let's just, yeah, I'm going to put him here. No. Nope. Goes the. He's got sick AC. He's good, right? No. He's got hit points. They're All crap those, opponents. He gets no um, attacks of opportunity for going there. And he can do a bite on the one in front of him or the one above. Sweet. I but... try not to metagame. I don't know when I get attacks of opportunity or not so yes, you do you're a trained combatant you know if you run through people's areas of <laughs> true but i'm not i bet i'm not a tiger that doesn't know right you doesn't went to school for your roguish shit that's I mean, right I have grace and obviously i'm not concerned enough to cast it because these guys are kind of so yeah. whatever 
Um, Nicodemus. Fight, 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 fight. Let's go. Boy. <gasps> 20 oh, hits. Oh, nice. Gratia, uh, uh, tells Nicodemus to take a chomp on the guy in front. He, he chomps on the guy in front. You can see his distaste as his teeth can contact metal inside. Oh, I say, I say he needs to make a will save to see if he likes it. He definitely does. He's, he's a I like I, this. Is dead flesh. I like he's the horniest tiger. Okay, <laughs> hey, uh, Bulga takes the five foot step and swings his glaive at the one coming up from the south. Uh, Avati it. God, Reach is so awesome. I guess to take notes. Hits for 16 <laughs> damage. Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, it's not, it's not as good as you. It's not, it's not the damage. It's the Reach. Look at where he's at. I know, he's right? He's attacking. That's sick. That's amazing. It's through a door. It's like, hi, I'm here. Hello. He's like drinking mimosas and stabbing shit, you know? <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait till he is, he's ramped up on the combat reflexes path and all oh. of that stuff. And he's just going to be like, oh, it's going to be nice. I okay, shall okay, fart okay. in your general direction. You can. Oh, geez. I don't even have anybody I can even attack. So I will do a five foot step because I can. Okay. Um, down here. And there's no one I can flank with, right? So no flanking. I will stab at the person south. Cause I'm assuming Ikezdu's gonna destroy this motherfucker. So I'm gonna attack the guy south of that, where um the one the tiger just attacked. That's right. Let's do that. Strategic. <laughs> so a five foot. Five foot. <laughs> you. Let's see what you got. I Roll the dice. Oh God, y'all. Twitch is like unnecessary censorship. Have you seen that bit before? <laughs> no. <laughs> because now it wants to censor the word "wet willy." <laughs> what? Not on my screen. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I rolled yeah, twice. I the word. Incorrect. Fuck oh, what, no. Wait. What happened? I, I rolled twice. So I rolled 20 and then 50. What happened? Wait, I think you've got your settings set so that it's set to turn that off universally because the channel itself is not doing this. What? It's yeah. your local settings. <laughs> so, are, so are you saying, are you saying which Twitch channel is set to her being wet? What? What? No, so when, 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 we were playing things, when we were playing things like Skull and Shackles and stuff like that with Nick, basically any p potential word that could possibly be screened out <laughs> was allowed because oh my you God. Can say I shit and this. then type it in the chat. Oh. So uh. how so how needs to set an explicit rating for us or something? I don't know. Generally have that on the podcast. Okay. All right, so no, so I, I think I hit. I think I hit twice by accident, so the first set. 15 will hit, and so will 25. So you've killed the one down here, because it was already injured. Well, oh. but, but if I hit the one, I would have switched attack to the second one, right? So it's a weird thing about... It took both attacks to kill it. Okay, fair. Cool. All right, it has two. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's my turn! Oh, it's my turn! <laughs> okay, Woody, check on a has two. I reach over with my free action, like, oh, there's the, there's stiffness there. Great, great act's about to happen. Ugh. You guys are gonna really want to be. But the where... problem is, I, I thought he had a huge weapon. It only seems like a small, tiny weapon that Billy Gup handles. I, I know, like it's it's, it's kind of it's kind of goofy, right? I mean, like I'm literally wielding like a literally a truck. As my weapon, <laughs> and it only goes whatever's in front of me. Alexander literally face palmed. He's like, "Oh my god, he went there." Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, I did. All right, I will swing um, my large great axe at the creature that's on the south of me. It's Batters up! <gasps> oh, that's he low. Love how you ooh. Like fun. That's minimum damage, and you still probably eviscerate them. Like, Luckily, slam around the room. Really crap. Fence. 
He was too eager. I agree with Wither King. Tim's too eager. The problem is taking 90 minutes to get round because everybody's talking too much. And these things hey, are so fuck so. you. We're all so interesting. Let's be efficient. Alexander, kill something. I'm, I'm uh, sorry. We, we think we're having fun. Sorry. You I, are having fun. I it's assume just, uh, Fireball is not Episode on the 45. We are still level 5. <laughs> Well, actually, let me let, let me ask a question. This is a legit question. I cast to attack. I cast to attack. They destroyed the guy. Can he now move or Could can't move, he? Yeah. Would you like to move? Yeah, I would like to move. You have your full move next... right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Some good moving. Let's go. You're doing great work. Push it real good. So is fireball is fireball out. actually on the table? I'm gonna cut this out as like a like a three hour Christmas yeah, special. Some guys story. up, come on. I mean, if fireball is actually on the table, I'm going there. But you know, it's You're probably not. not so no. <laughs> that's funny. Push it you real good. Push it real good. Well, <laughs> if, 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 if you are actually true about fireball being on the table, I would go there. But since it's fireball not. Table. I'm probably magic missling again because you do that. it's a good choice. Magic missile's good. Everybody likes that. That's and on the magic missile's good now. It me. wasn't good against the shielded necromancer before, but oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I was one up. Uh, Twelve points of force damage to the. Ooh, nice. Twelve points of force. So <laughs> Alexander just did the. Ash from Evil Dead. Here's my boomstick. Clack, clack, boom. Magic missile blew one guy away. <laughs> Emojis. Give me some sugar, baby. Oh, man. That's like my favorite fucking musical ever. I'm totally like friends with Bush Campbell. He's in our neighborhood. Mm. Shut up. No, seriously, he like Michigan, man. Like uh, Royal Oak. He's all up here. Yeah, totally. Oh, true. my God. I, I, I want. I'll say. Fr I'll say friends. Life and that kind of makes me happy. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna say friends in quotes because we were mates like sixteen years ago. I mean, you like made way, it with ways Campbell? back. What? You made it with the Bruce Campbell? <laughs> no, I mean mates like friends. Oh. He he would go to like Fox Theater and have when they do the um, Evil Dead. Uh, 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 viewings at the Fox Theater in downtown Detroit. Yeah. He'd, he'd be in the audience, mm -hmm. and so people sometimes yeah, yeah. would <laughs> so sometimes people would clue in that he's there. It's like, you know, Bruce, say groovy. He's like, <laughs> what about your fucking parent? You know, he would just like go. He would banter. He would like banter with the audience. It was awesome. Love it was amazing. It. So That's Bruce so Campbell is seriously good people. So. They, Man, so, let the I interwebs mean, know that Bruce Campbell's awesome people. So that's amazing. Oh, that makes Tatia. me happy. So Alexander is finished, right? Or yep. <laughs> Tatia. I'm, I'm sorry. Not. I'm trying. I'm trying to channel Tim in. Okay, what's next round, Hal? I'm. Uh, who does what now? Does Tim sound like that. Tim. Well, he himself. doesn't, but he's not listening, so I can fuck with him, right? Because he's not like paying attention. So. Well, that was good. Seventeen. Hits. My round is over. That's great. Seventeen hits for eight damage. He does not kill it, I don't think, unless it's had damage done already, and I can't move from. I want to say that Tatia channeling Desna with her star knife has like never missed. It's so amazing. She oh, channels like the gods. Butterfly. Wait. Oh. Chat has a I question for you. Lights it on fire, and it's gonna look cool as shit when I get all, all all of her girly bits like emit like magical light. It's, just like, oh. it's all amazing. Bell, chat has a question for you, and also some other. No, I, I want to say that that Bruce is uh, one. <laughs> Bruce is one hundred and sixty-seven percent heterosexual, and is not into Kiernan as a male. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Campbell's amazing. So, so what, I've had, what is I've, 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 an as if not as a male? Then I, I was lucky enough to tip a what was it three or four pints with Bruce Campbell way back many years ago as a Michigander, and I am very privileged to that. 
Cheers, Bruce, if you happen to be listening. We love you. According, according to Wikipedia. If you happen to be listening, I have a really big crush on you. I love you, whether you're an asshole or not. Um, <laughs> really want to touch your glorious chin. I'll hail the chin. Powers. Hey, as a as a complete as a completely straight guy, I want to touch your glorious chin. So just as a completely not straight woman, I want to touch your chin and then touch myself. And at the <laughs> at the same time, is totally fine. <laughs> Bruce is amazing. According to the internet, he is married to someone called Ida Garen. Yeah. I hope she's cool and doesn't want to kick my ass. Yeah, but I mean, uh, what was it? I I met him twenty, going back math here, twenty three, twenty three years ago. Had drinks with him twenty one years ago. My first Coronas were was uh, the first Coronas I ever had beer wise with was with uh, Mark Hamill in Milwaukee or, or something like that. Coronas. Yeah, well. Coronas are weak. Didn't but... you at least have beer? Yeah. Hell yeah. But you know, when Mark Hamill drinks Coronas, you you drink Coronas, right? So mm. man, when Mark Hamill does something, I get wet. I, was like, no, I don't, don't care that. what Mark Hamill does, I am into that shit. So I am yeah. not. No, there are people that watching. Is the oh the so God. spy spies demise in Milwaukee. Before the, before Gen Con moved to Indianapolis, Spies Demise Bar in Milwaukee, amaze balls. There mm. was secret rooms. There was a room where you you had to figure out a clue, go to a, a phone booth, figure out a clue, type in the code, have the door to the phone booth closed when you typed in the code, and then a secret door is slid open, which led you to a room that had TVs where <laughs> all the TVs in the entire bar were lit up. So the girls at the front of the building that didn't know the password had to have hula hoops. Mm -hmm. There was the bathroom with, that only had the external mirrors where you'd see the girls doing their hair and it was like a two-way mirror. There was all these windows. So I'm like sitting in the, sitting in this area. It was all lit by black lights. There's like 20 TVs in there. Like, holy crap. I lean back in my chair. The person leaning back in their chair right next to me, like, like poke touching distance, Mark Hamill, fucking Mark Hamill. I'm like, dude, like I was totally not trying to be fanboy. Like, Hey, mm -hmm. how you doing, Mark? I said, Hey, how you doing? And I was like, hey, what, what you drinking? I'll buy you a drink. And it's like, has to drink. Everyone drinks. I want to drink a Corona as a tribute to Mark Hamill, but I don't have a Corona, so. Unfortunately, so I've switched to a dot. I... Yeah, uh, thing is going to land on the floor, it looks like, because he was like, remember, remember how at the beginning he was like this big in the, in the, in the, in the ocular, and then he's kind of like this big, then he was this big, and now he's like down here, he's like, I'm, I'm ah. he's like sliding down and to the right slightly, you know? Oh, no. shit. You bit something for nine points of damage. God it, damn it. Dead. Totally dead. It Bring has died. Back the reality. Okay. Oh my god, they died. Oh, he's so dead. Nicodemus tears him to pieces. He's so dead right now. So none of none of these <laughs> none of these guys had uh ratkin bits, right? No, we need to unwrap the one with the wrapping sure. ropes to free <laughs> Riscafus and oh. rescue him for the Oh oh but that one didn't emerge. Oh, the one with the ropes didn't emerge. Okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, is there one left? I see still, still see they one on the map. They are imaginary monsters. That's, That's why we're ignoring them smart. with dumb banter. Okay. Uh, <laughs> cut the ropes, free whisk of fist, say we're here <clears throat> to rescue you. Let's do that next time, because there's, there's talking in that, so let's do that next time. Shall, would you like experience? Yes, yes please. But also, I would I like it. How I, I would like to have uh, but double experience, and I also want to tell you a story because it's very important. Oh, hey, okay. it better be a and, good story. It's gonna take five seconds. Mark Hamill is the first dude I ever had a crush on, and it was um, not because he was Luke Skywalker, it was because he was this really hot young guy who went from like Oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing in the world. To, I have to take 
care of everything and responsibility and wear black. And that was really <laughs> hot when I was in fifth grade. So and I don't want to. I don't, don't want to take grade. away. I don't want to take take away from Tatia's female, completely legit statement. But Mark Hamill's probably, as a straight guy, the first male crush I had too. I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, I do them. I mean, it's like I'm straight, 100. percent But <laughs> hey, you know, alone, a few Coronas with lime, you know, and, shit can happen. Really, I'm really, straight, 85. He, he's the, but... he's the Joker. He's the voice of Joker. He's so many voices. Hey. I mean, he he does vote. He does the laughing of Joker. I might have to do him. I don't know. It's just nuts. Really, would you like him to do that laugh while you do him, Bill? You know, I yes. just uh, I, I'm 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 opening yes. my soul to you, Hal, yes. and you're uh, shitting on it. I'm just saying I'm hurt. I'm saying, I'm just, Mark just Hamill, if you are watching bad. this, I love you. But and if I have, but if that happens, I want if, you to have if, me. However, <laughs> if that happened to me before <laughs> it happened to Wit, she would be jealous of me. I love you. When 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 this goes live, I am tagging <laughs> Mark Hamill and Bruce Campbell in the release. <laughs> he. Yeah. You should, Valid. because it would be amazing. Mark, I don't even remember what year it was. Mark time. was at Gen Con. Several times, it's okay. I promise you, it will be safe. I am clean. I am careful, and I love you, and I respect you. So now, so now Woo! I'm on, I'm on I'm on Spirit Airlines right now, booking my tickets to Houston. How long How long are you in Houston? What, what How long are you in Houston? I forget what the uh, I am in Houston <laughs> until September. <laughs> oh, well, so that's oh, those are good flights then. You know yeah. what? I, I I will select <laughs> those flights. I'll select. I'll funny. select those flights because they're more expensive, just to show that I care. Yeah. So I will. Whereas I more come to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's your bedroom. Seriously, okay. in summertime, in the in the hot summertime, we will all want to go to Thing in Seattle. Seriously, <laughs> it's all cool there. Let's all go to his at Neck of Town, right? We'll oh, we'll have a RPG I MP3. Like a port in a storm, and everybody drinks. Everybody drinks. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was pretty amazing when um, they held the uh, the um, Gothic convention in in Seattle, and everyone's like. Oh wow! You can wear velvet year round here. You guys are so lucky. <laughs> what? <laughs> right? Yes, very lucky. Come to Houston. Come to Houston and see how often you can wear velvet. Our, our year yeah, round average is about sixty five degrees. Never. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so Michigan, hot. Michigan weather. You can wear velvet, but you might get your ass kicked right. by the populace, right? Yeah. Like, All right. Hey, because, how Let's hey, have some experience. I really want to blow. Oh. Thank you. Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, because I need to go to bed. You're trying to end us quickly. I'm not. That's poor Tim. I see him dying over there. No, no, no. No, oh. seriously. I have to get up at 5.45 in the morning. He needs to intravenously oh. inject, like, monster into his penis or something. Into... That's what's going to happen when Becca gets hold of him. Okay. Well, that's true. Becca, we love you. Him. So, four <laughs> zombies, Amaro, and what? I'm just going to say, uh, it took us two hours and 15 minutes to go from one room to this room to get in. Like, so, what, so Tim, 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 you really oh. are, you really are oh. away from our fun. Timmy, y'all, Timmy. <laughs> Episode 43, we're still at level five. <laughs> <laughs> we just made level, we just made, we just made level five. What are you talking about? I know that's what I'm saying. We're going to, we're going to get the episode 43 and still be level five. Okay, so we're having fun. I hope we're entertaining the listeners. You're kind of taken away from that, man. Come on. No, 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 uh, you're, 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 you're harsh and are mellow, man. I love you. Don't listen. Don't listen to Kiernan. He's dumb. I love you. I love you, Ikezi. Doing. I thought I was so... I guess, I guess to saying that we're not moving fast enough, I'm saying we're all he's harsh and are mellow. I'm 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 in the wrong. Oh no 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 that's not what he's saying. Ta- Tatia, I, 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 I kneel to you, sweetie. What mellow? Instruct me. Marshmallows. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, there's a trombone. I totally, I totally buckle in my alignment of lawful. The trombone. It's so chaotic. I can't resist. Oh. <laughs> there's two. Long haul. Now I have disadvantage on the roll of will save versus. Okay, versus the, lameness. Okay, so we have, we have tomorrow and we're tomorrow zombies. zombies, and we we found a bunch of treasure. That counts as XP too, right? <laughs> and first edition, it totally counted towards XP, right? Every okay. X, every gold piece value counted as XP. I remember as right. Right. You killed four zombies. Four zombies are worth eight hundred experience. You killed Marrow. Marrow was worth 1,600 experience. Really? That's it? Yeah. Lords oh, of yes. Rust are... Level six. Lords of Rust are pussies. A lobotomites are worth 1,600 experience. You killed eight of those. Congratulations. Eight times six. So there was four in the first room and four in the second, eight right? In the okay. second room. Cool. Uh, 12,800 total? 1,000. Oh, that doesn't sound right. I think he's min for the all of the Lobotomites. No, they weren't 1,600 each. They were 1,600 total. Yeah, I know. That's what I just said. <laughs> oh, I did. 1,600 each is different than 1,600 total. Now we can't do math. It's 4,000 divided by the lot of you. Okay. And there's <laughs> five of us, but we're divided by six to do the party poll, so... Doing that? So no, 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 we're doing that for experience. That's just the goal. So we get then we get eight hundred cool. experience. Yeah. So 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 Karen and so Karen and Ikeztu share a special intimate moment with like a really, and we're thinking about kicking in the door on the arena and just taking on the Lords of Rust because we're like, really, this is a a leader of the Lords of Rust. Time to. <laughs> Boot some pute. Let's bring some um, milkshakes to the yard. Hey, bring the, all the hey, boys to the yard. Uh, the wizard actually almost like got one around and did negative energy. Like several of us would have dropped. What? But that was because we were already hurt. If we just yeah. go right to our front door, kick in the door, the bitches we're here. You know, like I don't know. It's like I don't know. You're you're the one going in first. You tell us what to do. <laughs> oh, Babylon is in the fire. Direct them to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but Babylon's the other warrior of the group. I have a sick bluff, so I was like, "I guess you, you can totally do it. You're awesome. Open the door. Announce your frightful stance. I am here to slay you in the <laughs> in, the, in the name of Crom. Do it." I have a plus 11 to bluff. I <laughs> just, just do it. <laughs> anyway. Well, I'm, I'm on a good. rant. Walked Sorry. 20 yards and killed some things. Well, That's but we session. investigated, oh we looked. We still have not found Whiskerfist, which is a concern considering the amount of noise we've made. So what have oh. we not investigated? So uh, typically, after we killed the last guy, what doors have we not seen? Well, How are there's... these doors right here? Down so, here to the south? So the right above us, ropes. there's a tube that's wrapped in rope. And then Hal said that we have to wait until next time to investigate that. He said there's a lot of dialogue. And we desperately need that sober. Well, I'm yeah, sober. yeah. Apparently, I'm sober, but I mean, we could totally do that now. Seriously, I'm sober. But Tim also has to get up after diggling with Becker all night. Oh, shit, yeah. It so, is 11, well, I mean, Kiernan, it's 1230 your time. It's 1130 here. I do have well, to get up. I have to get up. <laughs> I do have to get up in six hours. So, yes, I am getting up. Oh, okay, so if, if Hal DM Hint is saying this is more than just a couple of blah, no. blah interactions, then let's totally call it. You're right. We should totally call it. It's all good. Hi, right, chat. Thank you so much for making them so drunk they can barely see. They really love it. It's great. Uh, visit us at the website. Come talk to us on Discord. Um, Thank you. Bye. Love you, Monster. Facebook and all of those things. Thanks, everyone, on Twitch, even though that we have 
had more alcohol than we would normally have had, thanks to you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and I'm the only one out of the group that doesn't drink, so yes. Say, we're gonna have to start publishing like our addresses for Drizzly, so they can send so, you alcohol. So, 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 so Tim, oh, no. so Tim doesn't, so Tim doesn't drink, but he had three potty breaks because he has a small yeah. bladder the size of a walnut. Yeah. <laughs> I've drank five of these things, okay? No, so no. so I, I've drunk this. That, that's a lot. You're a much bigger guy than I and am. And four <laughs> of these and two of these, and I went once, right? So tell, them, tell us about your bladder size again. Well, the other thing also, I left the room because you guys were talking so much, so I visited Becca. <laughs> yeah, well. Tim, so so the thing in. is, is... Are are you saying how that we should do a long rest before leveling, or do we still hang on to current hit points, current level? What what's the plan for? Uh... You're, not, you're not getting your hit points maxed, and you're not getting new spells until you leave and have a nice relax. All right, guys, I, I gotta get going. I'll talk to Fair. you later. Thanks, Sam. We were, we're, we're, we're later, Tim. We were, we, thanks, Sam. We were, we're just trying to. Uh, Good luck with the move tomorrow.